announcement during his address to the UN General Assembly. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas on Wednesday announced that the Palestinian Authority no longer considers itself bound by existing agreements with Israel because the Israeli government keeps violating those pacts. Abbas in particular noted the 1993 Oslo Accord, which was supposedly to end the Israeli occupation of Palestine by 1999, noting that Israel is dramatically escalating settlement activities and has not terminated the occupation as promised. Saying the status quo can no longer continue, Abbas declared that Israel should consider itself obliged to fulfill all the responsibilities of an occupying power in the Palestinian territories. This would include ensuring food and medical supplies are provided to those living under occupation and explicitly forbids settlement. The Israeli Prime Minister's office condemned the announcement as incitement and demanded that Abbas unconditionally accept new talks with Israel. The past round of peace talks ended in failure when Israel reneged on promised prisoner releases. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said the speech proved Abbas does not want a peace deal. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending receipts. After excitedly posting an image of a Lamborghini Rebentan to his Facebook account earlier this afternoon, 38-year-old little boy Nick Weber talked to Onion reporters about his passion for fast cars. When I saw that car, I was like, whoa, it was so cool. I had to show it to all my friends. I like red cars the best, but only ones that are really, really fast. I can't wait to get one when I'm older. I'm going to get the fastest car in the whole world. <laughs> The Weber also frequently posts about his other interests, which include motorcycles, fighter jets, and Marvel superhero Iron Man. The nearly 40-year-old small child confirmed that sports cars are his favorite, and the picture of the bright yellow Lamborghini has already garnered 15 likes and 9 comments from other enthused middle-aged children who are friends with Weber on the social networking site. My best friend Bradley, he sent me a picture of a blue convertible that's so awesome, it has these big wheels, and even has a racing stripe on it. After watching several online videos of fast cars and eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch, the homeowning little tyke went to his room to take a nap. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. It's Free Talk Live the show where you can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind coming to you live this thursday evening it is mark with you daryl and johnson what's on your mind mark and what is on my mind <laughs> well you know trying to make sure that we get a radio show done here is probably my biggest concern um we had a little dropout technical difficulties beforehand it's always makes for an exciting intro but i'm also kind of concerned with uh, new debate criteria one of the things about uh, these debates is, is that they can control who gets elected by controlling who gets the coverage. I know what one of those criteria is. Thou shalt not be from a third party. Well, that's certainly one. But we're <laughs> at this point, third parties are relatively irrelevant. Um, we're talking about, uh, you know, the, the, the two main parties are they're doing their stumping. The third parties, I don't think they've picked their candidates at this point. So most of them have not. Yeah, they can't really complain. Uh, a couple of the parties have. So the Prohibition Party has. Oh, good. Uh, some racist party, the. Uh, it's Inappropriately more. named American Freedom Party. They're a bunch of fascists, but they call themselves the American Freedom Party. They've picked a candidate. The, the one guy in that uh, racist party has uh, decided that he's going to run for president. Is that it? No, there's actually a couple thousand people that are supporters of that party across the country. Okay. Sadly. And... Uh, but what they try to do is they try to limit who gets in uh, in these debates. And sometimes I think it's for the best, and sometimes I think it's not for the best. And it's really, you know, the referee is the one who gets to decide who wins and loses. So, for instance, on the Democratic side, there's some candidates that I find to be relatively, uh, you know, disinter uninteresting. Just not, you know, not particularly interesting. Mark O'Malley, Lincoln Chafee. Yeah, I just get the impression these guys aren't going anywhere and aren't doing anything. But on the Republican side, the guy I like, apparently his polling numbers have been going down, down, down. And, you know, here I am. I'm, I'm like, oh, yeah, they're going to come back this week. Things are going to be things are going to be different. So what are the changes, Daryl? I mean, because the, the, the devil is she the devil resides in the details. Right. So for people that aren't aware, the first couple of Republican debates 
there was the main stage and then what they called the kids' table. The main stage for the very first debate had the top 10 candidates based on the polls. The second debate that I think was hosted by CNN, they had 11 candidates in the main debate. And all of the other candidates that were considered to be major candidates, there's 15 of them now. There were 17 at one point. The rest of those candidates were at what they called the kids' table debate. Yeah. Well, now... The next debate that's coming up here in a few weeks, CNBC has said that they will only have candidates polling above 3% in the main debate, and the kids' table debate will have candidates that are above 1% and below 3%. Okay. And one thing that I find very interesting before I get into more about this particular debate is if the Commission for Presidential Debates criteria were used in the first Republican debates, Donald Trump would have been the only candidate on stage in the very first Republican debate because he was the only one polling above 15%. So this is the, if the debates for um, when there are more than one party debating, if the criteria for those debates were applied to the debates for the single party, the primary debates, right? then... Basically, only Donald Trump would, would have been the only one on stage because they make the criteria so difficult for the third-party people. Is that what you're saying? Uh, that's part of it. And one reason that it's so incredibly difficult in the general election for any third party, and I hate the term third party, uh, so I'm going to use the term minor party. Fine. And the reason I hate the so term it's third party, party— for only people that are under 18. Mm-hmm. No, so— Uh, Did you see what I did there? I did a Daryl to Daryl. There there are several states where they have uh, legal statuses of major party, minor party. So major party is a political party that has reached above a certain threshold. It's above the age of majority. No. They they are considered major because they've reached a certain threshold. They've elected people to the legislature. They've received over 5% for governor, et cetera, et cetera. So that threshold isn't the age of 18 then? No. Okay. And a minor party (laughs) is a political party that is organized but has not yet reached the threshold for getting major party status. Major party status in most states winds up giving you a political primary and other things. Uh, by the way, I actually I actually use the term, too. I don't use major or minor, and I generally don't use the word third party either. I say non-incumbent. Okay, well— th- It's a non-incumbent party. What about other? It's just non-incumbent party. There are two incumbent parties, the Democrats and the Republican. It's a non-incumbent party. Yeah, so the reason that I don't use the term third party is because it implies that there should only be two and anybody else is a third, even when they're, you know, like, there's five third party people. Like, it makes absolutely no sense. So I don't use, I, I, well, I think what it makes try sense not for to use the term third is party. people want a third choice. Right. right. Like, they do want that. And they might even want a fourth or fifth choice. I, I think that the average American can handle seeing five different choices for a particular um, and that's why i use the term non-incumbent because then you can you, you know you can have third fourth fifth sixth choices and they can all come from different non-incumbent parties but why are we talking about this though daryl i mean this this isn't the time of year to talk about uh, uh you know minority parties or whatever the terminology is you wish to use um this is about uh, primary parties isn't it I mean, uh, partly, but it also points out the hypocrisy of the criteria that are set up. The Commission on Presidential Debates is supposedly nonpartisan. They're a 501c3 entity, which is a tax exempt organization, and they're not supposed to engage in partisan politics. Didn't they, they were... also forcibly take the elections from the League of Women Voters? No. Okay. Uh, The League of Women Voters was hosting the debates up until the last one they hosted was 1984. In 1987, the CPD was formed, and the League of Women Voters was approached by the CPD of, we want to work with you, but it was made clear by the people that created the CPD, and the guy that created it is still in charge of it. It was made clear that we only want Republicans and Democrats in our debate. Right. And the League of Women Voters said, no, no, you're holding a sham. Like, people should know about right. alternatives to the Republicans and Democrats, and we cannot be part of this. 
And so they backed out. And people have tried doing debates outside of the CPD, but the Republicans and Democrats refuse to participate. So they will only participate in the CPD debates. And there's only been one set of debates that included somebody that was not a Republican or a Democrat on stage with the Republicans and the Democrats. And that was 1992 when Ross Perot was on stage. And this was before they instituted the 15 percent rule. Had they had the 15 percent rule in 1992, Ross Perot would not have been on the stage. What I don't understand is whatever happened with the lawsuit didn't uh, the CPD get there sued have been jointly by several lawsuits? Right, weren't they sued by jointly by the uh, uh, Republican and Green Party when it was um, uh, Michael Badnarik and David uh, Cobb? I think that and- there have been several suits, and to date, except for the most recent one that was filed on Tuesday, they've all been thrown out. Mostly on technicalities of you don't have standing or you filed this in the wrong district court. There was a lawsuit filed on Tuesday by the Libertarians and the Greens. And Gary Johnson was organizing this and he swears we've got all the ducks in a row this time. But that gets said every time there's a lawsuit. Well, all you can do is keep throwing something at the wall and seeing if it comes back. Um, But I, I don't know. I mean, they're... It's sort of like asking to be able to run in the race that you know that you can't win. I mean, isn't that kind of what's going on here with these uh, minor parties? No. So what makes it incredibly difficult for any candidate, whether it's an independent candidate, a minor party candidate, to poll at 15 percent is they are not included in the polls that are used by the CPD to determine who gets in the debates. Yeah. How so are they supposed it would to get- be asking, who's your favorite Free Talk Live co-host, but you can only vote for Mark and Ian. Don't pay attention to the other five people that are on the show. Agreed. 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. I have a 70-pound Royal Standard Poodle. Her name is Zelia. And three years ago, Zelia's ears were a mess. She would have sticky, gooey, smelly discharge in her ears. We took Zelia to the vet seven times of $150 every time. The vet offered no success at all. My wife and I are driving, and we hear some people on the radio saying D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E. 859-428-1000. The omega-3 fatty acids. Flaxseed, zinc, alfalfa. The digestive enzymes that are cooked out of regular dog food. Six days after I started feeding her Dinovite, my dog's ear problems were cured. My dog no longer yelps. She can be petted without pain, and it's because Dinovite made our dog healthy again. 859-428-1000. 859-428-1000. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Ricky LeBlanc admitted in Mass only. Sokolov Law, LLC, Chestnut Hill, Mass. Ken Levan, responsible attorney in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Greg Hobby, New Jersey. The choice of lawyer is an important decision that should not be based solely upon advertisements. While this firm maintains joint responsibility, most cases of this type are referred to other attorneys for principal responsibility. If you know what mesothelioma is, you or someone you love has likely been impacted by this devastating cancer. You may be entitled to compensation. Call Sokolov Law today. 1-800-218-HELP. The only known cause of mesothelioma is asbestos exposure. Thousands of hardworking men and women, including many U.S. veterans and industrial workers, have been diagnosed with mesothelioma because manufacturers knew the dangers but put profits ahead of people. An estimated $30 billion in court order trust has been set aside to pay money to asbestos victims. If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with mesothelioma, call now. You may be entitled to receive compensation without ever going to court or filing a lawsuit. Call for a free legal consultation at 1-800-218-HELP. That's 1-800-218-HELP. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. 
It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. LRN.FM is proud to announce our official listening apps for Android and iOS devices. Now you can easily tune into our streams anywhere, anytime on your smartphone or tablet. Just visit apps.lrn.fm or search for LRN.FM in the Android or Apple app stores. Please download, rate it five stars, then share the link on social media, and let your friends and family know how you're listening to LRN.FM. Download it now, free at apps.lrn.fm. That's apps.lrn.fm. My name is Jacob Hornberger. I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, which Congressman Ron Paul awarded for having an outstanding freedom website. Write us at FFF at FFF.org, and we'll send you a free three-month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays and our booklet, Economic Liberty in the Constitution, which George Mason University economics professor Walter Williams praised in a recent column. That's FFF at FFF.org. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live. Give us a call at 855-450-3733. We're talking about the, well, the debates, specifically the um, Republican debate. There's just so many people in the field right now that it's impossible to know what's going on. And so they're trying to winnow down the field. Obviously, nobody wants to give up, or very few of them want to give up. So some of them have to be given a boost. And I guess they're trying to figure out what that boost might be tell you real quick how you can uh, save a great deal of money and basically have a, a raise, a big raise in your in your pay. You go to saveatpurse.com. That's saveatpurse.com. It's not an email address. That's a website. And you can get up to 25% off of all your Amazon purchases, even more than 25%. My uh, co-host Ian's gotten 40% in one case. Uh, I wouldn't say that that's a normal thing to do, but you can save by going to saveitpurse.com. Um, just sign up there. you got to fund your account with Bitcoin, and you got to use Bitcoin. That is the catch to it. But getting Bitcoin, you know, there's a variety of places that you can do that. It's, uh, and you can get it for, you know, hopefully you can get it for a few percentages over spot and save a bunch of money at saveatpurse.com. So, Daryl, um, yeah, I mean, this uh, the, the criteria um, here with this uh, debate got a lot of people upset, like, Apparently, Rand Paul, right on the verge of uh, being kicked out of the debates. How, who, who else won't be in the debates if these uh, criteria um, stick? Well, that that's funny. The claim that I heard is Rand Paul, they, they changed this to kick Rand Paul out. But if the debate were being held, you know, like tomorrow, Rand Paul would be on the main stage. But one of the concerns is, is that you never know which poll they're going to use. Sometimes he's at 3%, sometimes he's at 1%. It just depends. Right. So Politico has the story, and they begin by mentioning Rand Paul. And it says Rand Paul has a place on the stage for now. But the debate rules announced Wednesday by CNBC could end up spelling disaster for the Kentucky senator and several other high-profile candidates, including Chris Christie and Mike Huckabee. All three would qualify for the all-important primetime debate if it were held today, but just barely, thanks to a rounding provision in the rules. Paul's current polling average would meet, and it's a polling average, not just in a single poll. Okay. Uh, Paul's current polling average would meet the 3% threshold set by the cable network. The other two are slightly above the 3% cutoff. Their positions are tenuous, even the slightest fade in the poll over the next few weeks could remove them from the main 8 p.m. debate stage, sending a warning signal to donors and supporters about the vitality of their campaigns. Failing to qualify for the primetime debate would be a catastrophic outcome. Yeah, that's poll. it. If you don't, if you, well, whoever it is doesn't. Uh, if they're not in the primetime debate, especially if you slip from 
the primetime position down to the what they call them, the kids' table? The, the kids' table is what they're calling it. Originally, the prime time was 10, then Carly Fiorina moved up. Yes. And they didn't move someone down, from what I can right. tell. Yeah, and they had 11 people in that second set of debates. I got to say that it, it feels kind of disingenuous to have a 10-person debate and then an 11-person debate. Somebody probably should have been moved down. I don't know who that one person is, and I certainly don't want to be— I think the reason they didn't move anybody down is because the people at 10th were tied in the polls where they had the same thing, and they had already said, we're going to have 10 people. So if you removed one, you would have had to have removed two, and they didn't want to do that. Gotcha. The article here from Politico continues. It says— Paul, whose fundraising has lagged far behind his rivals, he's and got two has million his... dollars in freaking um, in saved funds, and just uh, just raised, I think, um, half a million today. Okay, well, this article was written All right, two they, days ago. They probably they, they, know better than I. They they can't predict what fundraising is going to happen after they write the article. But if you do look at the FEC reports, he is not doing as well as other people are doing All right, in fundraising. And I was looking at that by chance yesterday. All right. Uh, he is behind his rivals and his polling has slipped both nationally and in early primary states where they've started doing the state by state polls of polling people in New Hampshire, polling people in Iowa, polling people in South Carolina, because those are the first three states. And, yeah, he's slipping. He has been dealt a series of blows in recent weeks, including news that one of his super PACs supporting him had stopped raising money over the summer. Paul has also emerged as a favorite punching bag of Donald Trump, who on Tuesday tweeted a prediction the senator would be the next to drop out of the race. I don't know whether that's true or not. I would think that that would be beneficial, right? Like, I wish I could get Donald Trump to make Free Talk Live his favorite punching bag. Those boys on Free Talk Live are a bunch of nuts. I mean, I would love that. Yes. But apparently that's not working for Rand? Right. Okay. Uh, I would, I Paul's mean, predicament <laughs> isn't the... It was certainly great for Carly when, uh, when Trump goes and calls her ugly. Um, Did that happen before or after she was on the debate stage with Trump? It happened before she was on the main stage. Okay. Uh, basically, um, you know, before that, he's like, look at that face. Look at that face. You know, like, I don't know what I was supposed to notice when I looked at her face, yeah. but I can tell you, Mr. Trump, she's not running for the Miss America pageant that you run. <laughs> she's trying to be the president. And it's not like anyone's judging you based on your face. Certainly not your haircut, sir. So while, while we're talking about Trump real quick, I went to this blowhards event in Keene last night. And for the vast majority of the thing, he did not say anything of substance. They don't generally. Yeah. He, he started off by saying, you know, like, we're, we're going to make America great again. And we're, we're just go we're, we're going to make it great. I'll tell you how great we're going to make it. We're going to make it really great. <laughs> Again, like it was in the 50s, it, it's just, it's going to be great. The 50s is always when they go back to. I I, I just don't quite well, understand. Well, we had Eisenhower in the 50s, and he talked about Eisenhower and then something about Bo Bergdahl being a deserter. And back in the 50s, <laughs> they you know what they did back then to deserters. That's why they didn't have them back then. We're going to make America great again when kids had to do duck and cover drills under their desks. <laughs> and then he was talking about the wall and he was like I, I i know how to build stuff i i can build stuff really good that's what i do and okay i'll give him that uh, he's built some buildings i don't know that uh you know going through the government's process is going to be the same for him we're right. gonna make america great again before there was regulations against lead paint <laughs> yeah and so he, he's just throwing all of this stuff out and not really anything of substance the only substantial thing he said was if I'm elected, all of the refugees are going back. Okay. That that was pretty much the only thing of substance that he said of if elected, this is what I'll do. I, I just realized I made a statement and I'm like, I have to remember where I am, you know, sometimes where it's like, oh, I just made a statement that made it sound like I was pro regulations against lead paint. No, I'm not pro regulation. I'm not. A, I am against lead paint being on the side of houses. Let's make that clear. I'm not necessarily but, for regulations, 
Though, if I were in a position of being one of these sadist people, I would say that it's probably preferable to have regulations against lead, lead paint if we're going to have this like government that's supposedly being a nanny state. But otherwise... The private market can probably deal with lead paint on its own. But lead I have to clarify that statement. Lead paint's yummy. <laughs> 855-450-3733. So give your kids wrong. a good handful of asbestos to play with, just like they had in the 50s. 855 free. Okay, open your mouth and say, ah. When your child has a sore throat, you need to know when to get help. The doctor recommended Say Ah Sore Throat Exam is your solution. The scientifically designed oral retractor offers a clear view of the throat, relaxing the tongue and minimizing gag reflex. Compare with a medical grade chart, website, and app. Then you'll know just what to tell your doctor. A wellness plan in your hands in minutes. Go to sayahnow.com. Sayahnow.com, the new mainstay for every family's first aid kit. Uh, no way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9mm bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? Dave found them at PatriotNecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. PatriotNecklace.com? PatriotNecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American-made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service-related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from PatriotNecklace.com. Keenvention is coming up fast, October 30th through November 1st. Get your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Keenvention is an intimate event where you can meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire, including Oath Keeper Chris Reitman, Libertarian presidential candidate Daryl W. Perry, illegal Uber driver Christopher David, Neocash Radio's Dr. Darren Tapp, State Representative Mike Sylvia rated an a by the NHLA, The Seditious Sirens, The Rebel Love Show's Rob Mathias, Tech Guru Brian Sovereign, Cop blocker J.P. Freeman, new mover Dr. Taryn Lupo, longtime political activist Dennis Goddard, Church of the Invisible Hand Minister Rich Paul, Shire Dude, and dozens more. Only 100 tickets are available in advance, so lock yours in now for just $60 or with Bitcoin. That includes access to the Hello Keen Costume Dance Party. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more speaker announcements, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. The number, 
is 855-450 free. That's 855-450-3733. We're lrn.fm on Skype. So you can use that if uh, that's what you prefer. It's Mark with you. Daryl. And Johnson. 855-450 free. I'm headed out to Las Vegas to do Free Talk Live for the first time live from Las Vegas. You can join me at the Bitcoin Investor Conference. Lots of great speakers will be there. Trace Mayer, Dr. Stephanie Murphy, Joseph Von Perling, Paul Pui, Tone Vase. Tone Vase is great uh, for, I guess, for people who sort of play the futures markets or whatever in Bitcoin. Bitcoin Bell, former co-host here on Free Talk Live. It should be an exciting event. So come out and join me at the beautiful D Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, October the 29th and 30th, it's Bitcoin Investor, the Bitcoin Investor Conference, and the website is bitcoininvestor.com. Bitcoininvestor.com. And, by the way, the D Hotel, where we're going to be having the event, they take Bitcoin. So come on out and see me, bitcoininvestor.com. So wait, Bitcoin Bell gets the former co-host of Free Talk Live plug, but Dr. Murphy is just chop, chop liver. And uh, Br- <laughs> Brian Sovereign, who will also be there, another co-host. So, I mean, it's, there are going to be more co-hosts <laughs> at that event than there are in this room. If you're into the liberty movement and you haven't been a co-host on Free Talk Live, <laughs> you should really be examining your life choices. Right, you should be, <laughs> should be looking around, <laughs> see what's going on. <laughs> so uh, this... The Republican debate, apparently they're going to, uh, they're, they're laying down some new criteria as to who's going to be in and who's not. Yes. How many people are going to be cut, Daryl? Uh, that depends. Uh, what they're doing is they're setting it to where you have to average at least 3% in polls conducted by NBC, ABC, CBS, Fox, CNN, and Bloomberg. What happened to Between Pew? September 17th and October 21st. Rasmussen? I mean, those those organizations aren't even particularly good organizations. Um, they don't do that great of polling. CNBC and the Republican Party they came decided. up with this list. All right. And they said NBC, ABC, CBS, Fox, CNN, and Bloomberg, you have to average at least 3% in polls that are released between September 17th and October 21st. So that's over. So here's the thing that we're not considering. October 21st has not happened okay, yet. So these polls September that are released, all right. how are they conducted? Because what I'm wondering is, are these all the types of polls that are taken from people who only poll over the telephone yes. devices? Yeah, the, the, exactly. These are telephone polls. That's pretty much the only so, way you can do a scientific poll. Yeah, which is so ridiculous because then the only results are the only people that you're going to get are... Old fogies who still have landlines. No. Who has a landline? They're including cell phones in these polls now. Really? Yes. And if you look at the results, which I I do on a regular basis, they break it down by age. And there's a fair number of people as far as a percentage that are in that 18 to 25 bracket. Yeah, but just because they're breaking it down by age doesn't mean that they've like... I don't know. No, that totally debunks your claim that it's only old people. When okay, they only, okay, like okay. 15% of sure. the respondents are under the age of 40. 15% is, uh, seems awfully I, low. I don't know if that's the but, number, but, you know, like, they haven't I wonder, down. is it? But I wonder, is it a standard, like, normalized breakdown of age? And, again, you know, like, what about people who are, you know, have their cell phone or their cell phone companies that are putting them on the do not call lists and, you know, block unknown you know unknown numbers and that that type of spam i mean it just seems you know to exclude online polling which is what i know that a lot of these things are doing polling actually you can sure you can how if you have people sign up and they can only vote once and the link is only good for them but then they the people that sign up are self-selecting they're the kind of people that want to answer polls right and And what kind of people are those i don't know the answer well, that's because they signed up, right? So the, the question—that's not scientific, right? But your question wasn't about doing okay. scientific polls online. I don't care about a non-scientific poll. For God's <laughs> sake, I can go someplace and click something a thousand times. I don't. I, that's the problem. You can't do a scientific poll on the internet. Come on, go ahead. So in I recent think polling should have to occur door to door. And some of it might wind up occurring door to door, but most of these polls are over the telephone. Uh, In recent days, several of the campaigns have lashed out at the Republican committee and expressed concern that the RNC is working with the networks 
to winnow the field through the debate criteria. And this brings us back to what we were talking about at the beginning of the show. Of course they're trying to do that. To where the Republicans and the Democrats use debate criteria to limit acknowledge, or, uh, the the spotlight that's given to minor party candidates. They should uh, they should let me just decide which Republicans get to stay and which ones go. I just you So know. you would have a debate with only Rand Paul on the stage? Uh, no, I'd keep some. For one, um, if I'm going to sell commercials, I want to keep Trump on the stage. I mean, because that guy's funny. Uh, you want to keep uh, Fiorina and uh, Carson on there, there, but they're both polling better right now. Um, yeah, yeah, there's Carson's a lot of them. within one point of Trump, according to a poll that I saw out today. Yep, I've seen a couple of polls. And out that's there. actually, he could possibly be beating Trump. And I say that because of the margin of error. Margin error, yeah. So, you know, Trump could actually be three percentage points lower. Carson could be three percentage points higher, which would put him at a two point yeah. advantage. There's plenty of them I'd toss out, but, uh, you know, it, 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 it seems like you should have something like five or six on the stage, anything above that, just it's getting a little ridiculous. I think if you're going to have a debate, you should have everybody that's on the ballot. And in this case, for a presidential, you know, obviously there's only been for Republicans one deadline that has been met as far as primaries. And 15 candidates met that deadline. They paid $40,000 to the state of South Carolina Half of that money goes to the state. Half of that money goes to the South Carolina Republican Party. So you have 15 people that are going to be on the ballot for the Republican primary in South Carolina. All 15 should be in the debate. For the general election, if you remove the 15% criteria from the CPD and just had the other criteria that you're constitutionally eligible and you're on enough debates to theoretically win an electoral college majority. Enough ballots. In the last two elections, you would have had two additional candidates. It would have been a Libertarian and a Green Party candidate. Are you talking about general election debates again? Yes. Okay. Well, I, I, I just... It's not that I don't support the um, candidates being uh, the general, you know, the, the third party, minor party candidates being on the ballot. It's just that it seems like such a lot of work to get these guys... Uh, I mean, this has been going on for how long now? As long as the Republicans and Democrats have been setting the rules for who gets on the ballot. When was the I'd last like, time a, a, a Libertarian debated in, uh, in a national debate with uh, Republicans and Democrats for a for a president? It's never the only person that has ever debated a Republican and a Democrat for president was Ross Perot. What about Anderson? He debated the Republican. He did not debate Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter refused to attend the debate. So it was a debate with Anderson and Reagan. And then there was a debate between Reagan and Carter. I see. Um, yeah, I mean, it just seems like the, 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 it's so rigged yes. that, um, that there's just nothing that can be done about it. I mean, you I'm sorry. Remove some of the rigging. And it's the Republicans and the Democrats it? that make the rules. Indeed. And they need to stop harming people. And what I find hilarious is right now they're sort of, you know, feeling the pain that they inflict on everybody else, but they're not seeing the comparison. They aren't feeling the pain. A few of them are feeling the pain. A few of them are ir irrelevant and never going to make the rules. They're I never going to see that, that that's the, the issue. Now, let think me that Herman Cain should rejoin the race. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Let, let me give you one example of a candidate that was not a Republican or a Democrat that not only benefited from being included in a primary, but wound up winning the election because of it. Quickly. His name was Jesse Ventura. He was running for governor of Minnesota in 1998. He was polling at 12% before the debates. I ain't he got time to lead. He was in all of them, and he won the election. 855-450-3733. If you can think of any particular reason why uh, minor parties shouldn't be in the debates, you should come and call Daryl because he really wants to hear like it. Like a GD sexual Tyrannosaurus. 855-450-3733. As a pioneer of the <laughs> e-commerce movement, Overstock.com is proud to be the first major retailer to accept Bitcoin. Overstock was the first because Patrick Byrne, Overstock's CEO and founder, firmly believes in personal freedom and cryptocurrency. Over the past 16 years, Overstock has furnished over 18 million homes with a diverse line of products to suit everyone's unique styles and preferences. Support Overstock and freedom of choice while enjoying free shipping on orders of 0.211 Bitcoin or more.
want gold but also want to stay digital and decentralized on the Bitcoin blockchain? Anthem Vault, providing trusted, world-class vaulting, has your answer with Hayek Gold. Digital, spendable gold inspired by economist and free market philosopher F.A. Hayek. Each Hayek is worth one gram of gold and is available right now at AnthemVault.com. Sign up today at AnthemVault.com with promo code FREEDOM to earn six months of free storage and 5% off all margins for life. Hayek Gold at AnthemVault.com. Get yours today. We use mobile devices right against our bodies every day, but growing scientific evidence has emerged showing serious health risks associated with exposure to EMF radiation emitted from these devices. The solution is Defender Shield, the most effective mobile radiation shielding ever developed. Defender Shield blocks virtually 100% of EMF radiation from cell phones, tablets, and laptops and starts at just $64.99. Buy now at DefenderShield.com. For 10% off, use promo code GCN. DefenderShield.com, the worldwide leader in mobile radiation shielding. Hey, Berkey Guy here. Are you still drinking unfiltered tap water? Does your water contain chlorine or fluoride? Will you have drinkable water in an emergency? The Berkey Guy is here to help you remove these and other potential contaminants from your water, thus helping you drink clean, purified water. We offer Berkey water purification systems at the lowest available prices online. Don't go another moment without Berkey system. Over the last 10 years, we've helped thousands drink clean, purified water. Join them by visiting GoBerkey.com or call me, the Berkey Guy, at 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. The easiest thing in the world for a reader to do is to stop reading, according to the late, great Barney Kilgore, who became managing editor of the Wall Street Journal in 1941 and grew the paper's circulation from 33,000 to 1 million by the 60s. And he'd be pleased to know that his paper is one of the few that people now pay to read online. Someone else pre-internet who realized that attention is fragile? Motown Records founder Barry Gordy. In the early 60s, when his label dominated the charts, he'd bring a dozen real people into the Hitsville, USA studios and audition songs. And he'd ask, if you were down to your last dollar, would you spend it on this record or would you buy a sandwich? Today, attention span seems like an oxymoron. For tips on cutting through the clutter, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. The number is 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-free. lrn.fm on Skype. You can call in, bring up what's on your mind. It's Mark with you. Daryl. And Johnson. And Johnson, you were telling me, uh, you know, before the show started about this article you have that just sounds too weird to believe. What, about a woman whose eyes were screaming? Well, her, obviously her eyes weren't screaming. Well, according to her, they were. Okay. <laughs> Was she on acid, LSD, cocaine and some other substance at the time no she suffers from body integrity di identity disorder oh no never heard of it yeah. this is people that chop their own body parts off you are correct sir <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> the prize goes to you a north carolina woman purposely blinded herself with the help of a psychologist due to a rare condition that causes a person to long to be disabled according to the daily mail 
Jewel, I, I think that's fine. I just don't think they should be able to get anything from the government uh, or people or taxes or anything once they do. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, yeah. Because if you want to saw off a limb, that's fine. But don't expect me to pay for your prosthetic. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, Jewel Shooping Thirty had her psychologist pour drain cleaner in her eyes, and over the course of several months, she fulfilled a lifelong desire to lose her eyesight. Shooping suffers from an extremely rare condition called body integrity identity disorder, which means her idea of what her body should be does not match reality. People with BIID have been known to ask surgeons to amputate healthy limbs or paralyze them. The ethics of treatment for the disorder are under debate. While most would greet the idea of going blind with horror, Shooping yeah, I'm said, yeah, Shooping said it gave her a sense of comfort. I really feel this Can't is... Can't just keep her eyes closed? <laughs> Can't she wear goggles? <laughs> I really feel this is the way I was supposed to be born, that I should have been blind from birth, Shooping told the Daily Mail. When there's nobody around you who feels the same way, you start to think you're crazy. She's well, got she, sight guilt. Yeah. When there's... Wait, wait, wait. I want to repeat that sentence. When there's nobody around you who feels the same way, you start to think you're crazy. Mm. But I just don't think that I'm crazy. I just have a disorder. No, you're crazy. <laughs> well, I, I, I guess a disorder... A dis That's crazy. A oh. disorder of the brain is crazy. That's what crazy is. It's a disorder of the mind. I Okay. <laughs> yeah. She said her fixation with being blind started as a child. She used to stare into the sun after being told by her mother that it would make her go blind. My mother would find me walking in the halls at night when I was three or four years old, she said. By the time I was six, I remember that thinking about being blind made me feel comfortable. To carry this out, she had a, to find a psychologist willing to blind her. She found that person in 2006. Why a psychologist? I don't know. Why does a psychologist have to blind her? I don't know. This because a doctor won't do it because of the Hippocratic Oath. You'd think she could find a hobo and give him 50 bucks, but anyway. <laughs> no, she wants it done properly, and a hobo... But psychologist... Properly with drain cleaner over the course of months? Really? Is that properly? Doesn't seem like it. All right, and if you're hiring a hobo, <laughs> then the hobo's not going to stick around long enough because hobos leave from city to city. Okay, fine. You can find another hobo. Yeah, find <laughs> I got to say that... Uh, <laughs> you, you could probably find a homeless person, but not all homeless people are hobos. What's a hobo? A hobo leaves okay. and goes town to town. Excuse they, they my, don't stay excuse in the same my insulting town. of all hobos by thinking that they Very might be long. stationary for some period of time. Yeah. I meant a, a homeless person. That, that would be a home <laughs> bomb okay. where, where they have a home city and they stay there. Anyway, <laughs> to carry this out, okay, so she, Shooping said the psychologist first numbed her eyes uh -huh. and then placed drops of drain cleaner in each eye and then took her to the hospital. The process, despite the numbing drops she, she bought from Canada, was still extremely painful. Mm. My eyes were screaming and I had some drain cleaner going down my neck or sorry, going down my cheek, burning my skin, mm. she told the Daily Mail. But all I could think was, I am going blind. It is going to be okay. Dr. Michael First, professor. Where's this lady from? Uh, Sorry, I thought you'd remember. Uh, South Crazy Carolina. Town. South, South Carolina. Carolina. Didn't okay. I say that? North Carolina. I certainly don't like. Uh, th this makes me extraordinarily uncomfortable. But I also believe you've got that sight guilt. People uh, should be able to choose how they want to live their lives, and that includes without eyes. I just don't think that anybody should be required to pay for it. If yeah. you know what I mean. Well, I'm, I wonder if they're even going to mention that. So let's. Uh, I want to do con want to continue to see if they mention anything about it. But Dr. Michael First, professor of clinical psychiatry at Columbia University, said there is no known cure for BIID. As with many psychiatric conditions, it's about helping people cope. First is an expert in BIID, but is not sh but is not Chuping's doctor and didn't comment on how she became blind. In the world of psychiatry, cures are rare, but it's often it's about asking people. Or sorry, often it's about Asking how you make someone's life fulfilling despite their condition. Did you say the world of psychiatry? 
Yeah, in the world of psychiatry, cures. But this wasn't a psychiatrist. This was a psychologist. <laughs> right, right, exactly. <laughs> cures are very rare, but it's often uh, about how you make someone's life fulfilling despite their condition, he told the Daily Mail. Now, the problem, of course, if you have a particular individual who wanted amputation or who wants to be blind, how do you know once you have done it that they are going to be satisfied? Shuping said he. She hopes her story will raise awareness of the condition because people who have it go to dangerous lengths to disable themselves. Yeah, I've heard of a lot of people doing some crazy things and cutting off their own limbs, uh, you know, getting into situations where their limbs are crushed, uh, a variety of things. It really just because not all of them want to be blind like this lady. Um, they want a variety of different things. You know, I just feel like this this left leg is just not really mine um, or whatever. You'd think that maybe to cure this, you'd want to cure the underlying cause that makes someone want to be blind. That would be, to me, curing this. I Making like someone that, yeah. blind, probably not the cure. I don't like that solution. It's certainly, if I was her psychologist, she wouldn't be She wouldn't be coming to me more than once or twice. She'd be like, oh, this guy doesn't have a solution for me. Right. So, you know, she's going to go find the next person. This is sort of the difficulty in this scenario is, is that this lady wants a treatment, not a cure. If right. that makes sense. Here's the question. Do you think this guy that blinded her was being responsible or should... I mean, I guess the question bouncing around in my mind is, should this guy be in prison? Which obviously, no. I don't know. Like in a liberal, in a libertarian society, obviously no. The answer is no. Um, I got to say that, um, you know, the client, if the, if the client wants it badly enough, they're going to get it somewhere. So I understand right. why someone did it. I'm uncomfortable as I could possibly be with the notion, but right. I, okay, um, just so long as, again, here's my last caveat for it, one more time, is is not one penny goes to this woman who blinded herself. And or, This, in my mind, is one of those cases where it's somebody doing something that's clearly immoral that shouldn't be against the law. Yeah, this is- Because uh, not all laws should be inconveniencing other people as well. In other words- this is one of those situations where the act that this person is doing is clearly immoral. This person should be ostracized. No, I would never have, I would not want anything to do with this guy. I think this guy's a lunatic Who's who the blinded her, the guy who blinded her. Let me ask you um, this, though, Johnson. Okay. You, uh, for whatever reason, this lady comes to you. No, get away from me. You're and a says crazy she wants person. You blind her. You are a crazy person. And she will give you $500,000 to do it. Yeah, now that we're, now we're starting to get into a different. There's tar- the play. Tar- Can tar- I yeah. poke you in the eyes? Does yeah. that count? Because like pouring bleach on your face kind of makes me feel uncomfortable. Yeah. But I'll poke you. In Five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. She really, really wants this. Yeah. So at that point, you're in the realm of, well, for the money, I right. guess I'll do it. Right. Now, now we're only talking about not who's the mad scientist. But what's your price? Right. <laughs> All right. So you know? can you just wrap gauze around her head? Well, that's so what that I her proposed. Eyes then wind up just shutting, and then they stay shut after six <laughs> or how months. About, like why? Why bother with all this Drano? Just a few, little bit of super glue, and you're all set. Indeed, this is what I this is what I've got to say on this. No one. more tears. <laughs> I'd much rather. I mean, I I hope this lady has spent. I don't know six months wearing some kind of goggles that make it so she can't see yeah. because otherwise she's jumping into this a little too soon you know this is this isn't like a tattoo <laughs> i don't know i think she's she, well, they said her age i think it was like 30 30. Or so, 30 something and she's been dreaming about this since she was four years old whatever that so, means yeah. hold on that hold on because just because i thought of something when i was four years old and i think of it now doesn't mean like it's not the same. Well, she sentence. also used to run. Well, you know, you're I saying the thing to about be the goggles. The tidy bowl man when I was four years old because he had a boat. You say the thing about the goggles, but she used to like it says she was you know, walking around her house in the dark and stuff like that. Sometimes so. she'd get up at night. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, sometimes when she was little, she'd look at the sun, <laughs> like everybody. <laughs> she needs. She needs. Which this one needs is good blinding. Help. 855-450-3733. Help me with this, please. 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live or LRN.FM on Skype. 855-450-3733. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? 
stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. If you expect secure, privacy-oriented services and real human support from your web hosting provider, choose Virtual Space International. From domain names and SSL certificates to offshore banking accounts, Virtual Space International has been the all-in-one, multi-language solution for over 25 years. And satisfaction is guaranteed or your money back. We even accept Bitcoin. Find out how to get 50% off for life at SaveTimeHosting.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Lil Drums. Every bit as fun as a full-size Nestle drumstick cone and definitely cuter. Visit us at drumstick.com. Vacations are all about family time, but you don't have to leave home to have fun. Take one weekend a month and devote it to family activities. Pull out the board games and puzzles, serve up some treats, or have a picnic. Even without leaving home, you'll feel like you've really had some time away. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, October 1st, 2015. Silver is trading at $14.49 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,114 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $238. Antiwar.com reports having promised a hugely important announcement during his address to the UN General Assembly, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas on Wednesday announced that the Palestinian Authority no longer considers itself bound by existing agreements with Israel because the Israeli government keeps violating those pacts. Abbas in particular noted the 1993 Oslo Accord, which was supposedly to end the Israeli occupation of Palestine by 1999, noting that Israel is dramatically escalating settlement activities and has not terminated the occupation as promised. Saying the status quo can no longer continue, Abbas declared that Israel should consider itself obliged to fulfill all the responsibilities of an occupying power in the Palestinian territories. This would include ensuring food and medical supplies are provided to those living under occupation and explicitly forbids settlement. The Israeli Prime Minister's office condemned the announcement as incitement and demanded that Abbas unconditionally accept new talks with Israel. The past round of peace talks ended in failure when Israel reneged on promised prisoner releases. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said the speech proved Abbas does not want a peace deal. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. UPI reports Oklahoma Governor Mary Fallon stepped in at the last minute to stop the execution of Richard Glossop on Wednesday afternoon, not over concerns about his guilt or innocence, but rather worries over the lethal injection procedure. Fallon was literally the last hope for Glossop after the U.S. Supreme Court denied a last-minute stay of execution earlier in the day. The high court voted 8-1 to one in allowing Glossop's execution, scheduled for Wednesday, to proceed. The dissenting justice was Stephen Breyer, who argued in June that it is likely that capital punishment violates the Constitution's ban on cruel and unusual punishment. Fallon's intervention was based on concerns about the state's three-drug lethal injection method, which includes potassium acetate, which is not among the list of approved drugs for use in execution. Oklahoma state law allows potassium chloride, which can stop the heart as an acceptable drug, but not potassium acetate. Fallon said in a statement Wednesday, last-minute questions were raised today about Oklahoma 
Oklahoma's execution protocol and the chemicals used for lethal injection. After consulting with the Attorney General and the Department of Corrections, I have issued a 37-day stay of execution while the state addresses those questions and ensures it is complying fully with the protocols approved by federal courts. The governor's executive order postpones Glossop's execution until at least November 6th. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports ending weeks of infighting, the U.S. Congress on Wednesday voted to avert a government shutdown just hours before a midnight deadline, passing a stopgap measure to extend funding for federal agencies until December 11th. The House of Representatives relied heavily on Democrats to secure passage in a 277 to 151 vote. A large majority of Republicans voted against the measure, which did not meet conservative demands to cut off money to women's health care provider Planned Parenthood amid an abortion controversy. Obama welcomed the news with a tinge of sarcasm and remarks to a group of progressive state legislators in Washington. Obama said, The good news is that it looks like the Republicans will just barely avoid shutting down the government for the second time in two years. That's a somewhat low bar, but we should celebrate where we can. The bad news is, it looks like the Republicans will just barely avoid shutting down the government again for the second time in two years. Earlier in the day, by a vote of 78 to 20, the Senate approved the legislation that was needed to keep the government running at current levels with the start of the new fiscal year on Thursday. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Everyone in a bustling Chinese parade is attempting to elude pursuers. Newly discovered cave paintings suggest early man was battling a lot of inner demons, and a xylophonist is shredding it. This Tuesday, FBI officials disclosed details of a disturbing Al-Qaeda plot to just kick back, relax, and savor the inevitable collapse of the United States. Intelligence agencies confirmed the massive, coordinated plan involves terrorist cells across the globe, training specifically to take a load off and unwind as America's political infighting, class divides, moral indolence, and environmental self-destruction gradually tear the nation apart. Our righteous warriors will devote our time to relaxing and really soaking in the infidel self-destruction. America's cities will be reduced to ruins, the economy will come to a standstill, and we, the blessed of Islam, will kick back, put our feet up, and enjoy the show. It's going to be great. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, Thursday edition with Mark, Daryl, and Johnson. We just uh, read an article in the uh, previous segment about a woman who apparently enlisted the help of her psychologist to blind herself. Well, you would too if your eyes were screaming. Well, that's Wait. what she claimed uh, once she they used <laughs> yeah. liquid Drano in her eyes. In her eyes, after after numbing them, I suppose that's a good thing. But even with the numbing, well, she purchased the numbing drops on the internet from Canada. Okay, that's good. Um, the I guess that this woman has some kind of condition. What what's this condition called? Body disassociation. Body some, identity. Body image identity disorder, or something like that, yeah, or in, body, inter. Integrity disorder. Body. Image integrity disorder. Image integrity. Yeah, whatever it is. So she Or always, body integrity. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> she always, basically always felt like she was blind and just, she just had to have that uh, be real for her. So now she is. And she's she's happy about it? Was, I guess. Did they yeah. do an interview afterwards? Like, yeah. yeah. Well, I sure am happy about this blindness. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go to Lynn calling in from Philadelphia. Lynn, you're on Free Talk Live. Hello, gentlemen. This is Glenn from Philadelphia. Glenn, Hi. gotcha. Um, yes, yeah, gotcha. Uh, first things first, um, Johnson, are you big? Sure am. I guess. Yeah, I, I, it's, uh, it's, I had you pegged for a big Johnson. Anyway. <laughs> That's um, right. Anyway. Um, okay, now, first of all, 
Who's going to pay for her braille lessons? Who's going to pay for her seeing eye dogs? Who's going to pay for her white cane with a red tip and every other adaptive thing under the sun that she's going to need to live her new life? Yeah, that's a good question. That's what I want to know. Hopefully no one. <laughs> Hopefully and, she um, pays also, for it herself. Well, that, yeah, or that. I always self-identified well, as a government dependent. Yeah, exactly. Okay, now also, you may or may not remember that I'm a registered nurse by trade, okay? I work with psych patients. I, I presently work with people who are uh, disabled through no fault of their own. Yeah. Um, okay, one of the primary criteria for uh, institutionalizing someone against their will for, say, a 72-hour observation period is whether or not he or she is a danger to herself, right. herself, or, herself or others. Okay, well, being a, I would say blinding oneself is dangerous. You know, you're going to hurt yourself if you do that. Yeah. What if you and have so a license to practice psychology and you might be a danger to others? Yeah, well, um, and that's more of, more of an ethics violation. You know, doctors have the Hippocratic Oath, nurses have with the uh, Nightingale Pledge, believe it or not, had the same sentiment in there. Plus, even without pledges, there is still ethics and law pertaining to the matter. Okay, so now if I were a family member or someone who was going to be compelled, who was at variance with this idea, and um, I was going to be involved in, you know, uh, caring for this person, I would... Um, I would, uh, you know, fight. Yeah, you know, I would assume that I have standing, and I would um, sue the living tar out of that psychologist and do everything in my power to get that person, you know, uh, get that person charged with a criminal activity. That psychologist should be car, car charged with a criminal act. Um, Let me ask you, you this know, though, Glenn. Uh, um, so people have been doing a variety of sort of self mutilation throughout the years. Uh, we started with, um, you know, like ear piercings and tattoos. Those are relatively yeah, old hats. Yeah, for cutters overnight and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah cutters. Yeah. That, cutters are one. Uh, people yeah. are doing piercings from which they hang themselves, and have been doing that for well over a decade. This is kind of oh, with the giant hooks, the giant like meat hooks they hang themselves with, and yucky. Um, they uh, mm -hmm. you know tattoos on their faces. I, I, can, I can say that's irresponsible because they're subjecting themselves. Anytime you break the skin, you're creating a portal of infection. So this person's you know deliberately doing something that's going to, you know, uh, if this person gets a horrific infection, then they're going to go to the hospital. That's going to deplete, you know, insurance funds and social programs. You know, who's paying for the injuries? You know, it's, uh, it's uh, you know, it's a burden. They're making themselves burdens to society and other people when they incur the, um, you know, negative outcomes from this sort of thing. Even I mean, a tattoo um, on the hand is said to, uh, to to bring down your earning potential. So, I mean, you're not going to sue the tattoo artist well, for that, though, right? Yeah, but, okay, you know, so I, I think it's, it would be disingenuous then at this point to pretend that the, the magnitude, <laughs> that, that magnitude doesn't matter. That magnitude it, seems no to matter in this circumstance. It no seems to. Degree in here, yeah. <laughs> There's a big difference between finding oneself and getting a tat, you know, Um you know, yeah, you're taking, you know, no, no, I'm not pretending that, you know, life is ever going to be devoid of risk or people, you know. Um, but I'm sorry, you know, blinding yourself is, is that's, I'm sorry, I have no problem with society labeling that as pathological and saying, no, we aren't going to let you do that. Thank you, Glenn. You know, I appreciate the call. Yeah. 855-450-3733. Starchild calling in from San Francisco. Starchild, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey guys, how's it going? All's well. How you on. been? Awesome. Good to hear. What's on so, your mind? Uh, yeah, um, I wanted to uh, talk about sex work. Um, as uh, some of you know, I'm I'm a sex worker myself, and uh, I'm also a longtime libertarian activist. And this is one of the areas of activism, and things have really been heating up on this front this year. I haven't uh, been listening religiously lately, so I don't know how much you guys have talked about some of this stuff. But there was a an August 25th raid uh, by a number of agencies, including the New York Police Department, but most notably the Federal Department of Homeland Security, on this uh, male adult escort website, rentboy.com. We, Rent Boy. Well, yeah, we talked about Rent Boy, but um, yeah, I'd love okay. to hear what your thoughts are on it. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> this is pretty close to home, as I was actually currently an advertiser at the time. And uh, uh, this is coming in the way. What does that mean, an advertiser? Industry. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Uh, I was advertising on the site, my services. Okay. So you were um, a, a boy that could be rented, is that the idea? <laughs> yes, my okay. time can be rented. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, 
So, yeah, just, you know, the, the federal Department of Homeland Security being involved in something that has nothing to do with terrorism or national security or anything of the kind, basically just going after a website for allegedly uh, facilitating prostitution. That toy uh, could be a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> What's that have to do with anything? <laughs> just cause... it, it was Homeland yeah. Security. Uh-huh. They, they're supposed to keep the <laughs> Homeland secure. I see. And I, I'm just trying to figure out how they're involved, and maybe they thought the toys were bombs. Gotcha. Go on, Sergeant. So Sir, I think part, part of their involvement, I believe, is because uh, I think that we are making some real progress on the fight to decriminalize sex work. I agree. Uh, a little while before that, uh, Amnesty International, you know, probably the biggest and most famous human rights group in the world, uh, came out with a major study and report that they did, and uh, their conclusion is that criminalizing adults for consensual prostitution is a violation of human rights. And in the wake of that, several uh, lesbian, gay, uh, uh, bisexual, trans organizations uh, also came out with similar positions. And... Uh, Meanwhile, this uh, ongoing case had been brewing with another uh, uh, website, Backpage.com, which is kind of like Craigslist. Yeah. Uh, and Craig, Craigslist a couple of years ago was uh, gone after by a number of state attorneys general, and uh, they were told that uh, you know you have to pull your erotic services section that they had on their site, uh, where people could advertise, uh, you know, for adult entertainment. And so Craigslist basically buckled eventually in the face of all this pressure. And uh, then subsequently, uh, this Illinois County, uh, 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 Cook County in Illinois prosecutor, Tom Dart, started going after Backpage, uh, which is kind of a similar site uh, with similar listings. And uh, the Backpage wouldn't uh, wouldn't fold. And, and Backpage actually uh, had been owned by Village Voice, which did some terrific reporting on, uh, you know, how all this sex trafficking stuff that they're they're trying to peddle is uh, just kind of fear mongering. Um, one way we can tell we're winning on this is that, you know, back in the day, prostitution used to be attacked as immoral. You know, people would would say that, uh, you know, women or others engaged in prostitution were were fallen or, you know, ethically compromised. And all How do they do it thing. now? How do they attack them now? Now, now, uh, you know, we're the victims. I mean, it's mostly they, they talk about it in terms of women, like people, myself as a male sex worker. You know, That's it's, it's what I want to talk to you about, Star Child, because this, uh, Amnesty International has come out with some guidelines for sex work and in support of sex workers, but there are other uh, sort of human rights organizations out there that are vilifying sex work by saying everybody who's doing it is human trafficked. And I want to talk to you about that here in, in a moment. 855-450-FREE. It's 855-450-3733. Has this ever happened to you? You're applying for some type of a loan, whether online or in person, when it's time to hit submit, your nerves spike because you're not sure you'll get the approval you seek. There's a different way to approach life. It's called Credit Success Secrets Revealed. Credit Success Secrets Revealed is a revolutionized step-by-step -step system that you can follow to get all the credit you desire today. We're talking about secured and unsecured credit, car leases, credit cards, and cash. Call 800-568-8960. Credit Success Secrets Revealed works no matter what your current situation, whether you've had bad credit, never had credit, or looking for some business credit, or any type of credit. Please call 800-568-8960. We don't take any personal information. Your personal information is way too valuable to trust to a third-party email or a website that doesn't answer the phone. At Credit Success Secrets Revealed, we show you step-by-step -step what to place into the financial computer systems that control your credibility in the marketplace today. We practically fill out the forms for you. Credit Success Secrets Revealed works 100% of the time. Call now, 800-568-8960. That's 800-568-8960. 800-568-8960. My name is Bill Bonner, and I'm the president of the largest private news and research network in the world. And I paid for this airtime because I have an important message to the American people. There's a change coming that the government isn't telling you about. This change has deep implications for life in America, from where you shop to the doctors you visit and the family you want to protect. Look, I've made predictions like this before. Thing is, I was right then, too. A few years ago, I warned that housing prices would collapse. They did. Before that, I warned that dot-com companies would crash. They did. Those who listened had a chance to save themselves. But this has nothing to do with the stock market. This will affect us all. 
You can watch the video for free right now by going to disappearingwealth.com. Again, that's disappearingwealth.com. Free Talk Live. We're talking about piracy. The Barbary pirates were attacking um, American merchant ships and taking the sailors into slavery. Yep. Um, which right. is a little worse than conscribing them like England was. England was just making them, you know, do a little bit of work. I mean, it's certainly the slavery, but to a much lesser extent. <laughs> um, when, Did they get the doubloons? That's what I want. When, the, Avast. <laughs> when somebody from the Sudan takes you into slavery, uh-huh. you're in slavery. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's slavery in its uh, raw sense. Mm-hmm. So he sent over the Navy in order, um, was it? Well, that's the risk you take on the high seas. Trying to think of uh, this this famous uh, American pirate that I can't remember his name offhand. Blackbeard. Now, now. Redbeard. <laughs> no. Goldbeard. <laughs> <laughs> Maroon beard. <laughs> Free talk live seven nights a week from seven to ten Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. The number is 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-3733. If you care about your online privacy... Well, you need to check out ProXPN. It's a virtual private network that encrypts all of your online data before it gets to your internet service provider. ProXPN does it all right, offering OpenVPN, the gold standard of network encryption. They've got apps for Windows, Mac, iOS, even Linux support. Plus, unlike those other guys, ProXPN keeps no logs of your activities whatsoever. Now, ProXPN has even more services, uh, servers than before, giving you greater speed and security. They've also integrated Nonkly.com to uh, mask your emails if you get the premium account. They accept credit card and even Bitcoin. You can get 50% off the regular monthly price for the lifetime of your account when you buy an annual account with our code, FTL50. And it can have uh, it can end up being cheaper than uh, per month than a good cup of coffee. Now, they've sweetened the deal even further. If you go to ProXPN.com slash AMP, and you pay with Bitcoin, you can get two years of the ProXPN service for only basically 50 bucks. Uh, $5 of that purchase will go to the AMP program to help us spread the ideas of liberty. It's a huge savings, but only if you pay with Bitcoin. You keep hearing about online privacy and how it's getting infringed. You go to ProXPN.com now and use coupon code FTL50 or go to ProXPN.com slash AMP. Take advantage of the AMP offer. And help spread the ideas of liberty and take back your privacy. It's like drain cleaner in the eyes of spies. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what it's right. So um, a, a, a minor star in the uh, the libertarian movement, a star child, called in um, in the last segment. Star Child's famous for being at uh, in libertar- libertarian events for the last couple of decades. And Star Child is unashamedly a sex worker. Now, and he is the most flamboyant person at the Libertarian Party convention always. Yeah, it's always uh, <laughs> nice to see him. Star Child, thanks for calling in. And you mentioned in the last yeah, segment uh, one thing that I thought was very interesting is Amnesty International recently came out with, what was it, guidelines for sex work? Uh, no, they came out with a big uh, study uh, that they did and uh, report that uh, found uh, that, um, you know, they think 
did a lot of interviews and research in different countries and so forth, and their finding was that uh, criminalizing consensual adults for commercial sex is a violation of human rights. So, so uh, you know, there's a pretty huge stress in the movement. Because sex is legal, paying somebody to do something is legal, but paying somebody for sex, not legal. Um, and it's a strange little idea, but now they've, like you've said, they've gone from, you know, calling it immoral to calling it uh, supporting of human trafficking. This is what you hear every time, um, whether people are talking about porn. Uh, if it if it's porn, they'll say, well, the girls have been, uh, they're just they're just not smart enough to think for themselves. They they've were, been groomed. They were they were raised a certain way. They never had an opportunity to think for themselves, and all this other stuff. Not, you know, hey. They're taking money for sex, which, frankly, most yeah, people would do. Very condescending. It's a very condescending argument, but uh, I think that the opposition has realized that the old morality, you know, religion-based arguments about prostitution just don't fly anymore. So now they're trying to conflate it, you know, with uh, sex trafficking and uh, pimping and all these other things, which which are actually exacerbated when you make it illegal because then as we know with black markets when you create a black market it attracts uh, violent crime and uh, you know things that otherwise wouldn't be going on just we saw seen with drug prohibition and the latest cover of reason magazine you know probably the biggest libertarian uh magazine it has a great cover story headline that says sex trafficking is the new war on drugs uh, elizabeth nolan brown wrote a terrific piece which i encourage everybody to check out it's just online now as well uh since the magazine came out i almost uh, brought that in as a piece of prep tonight we'll have that posted up on the uh, facebook page at facebook.freetalklive.com within the uh next 10 minutes star child i really appreciate you calling in and uh letting uh, letting oh, us know could, about this could I, uh, yeah could i mention one other thing really you quick certainly can. Uh, also mentioned in the reason uh same issue with that cover story about our lawsuit in california uh we're suing to uh, overturn the state's uh, anti-prostitution law as unconstitutional. Who's and, we? Uh, we've got a very strong... Uh, the Erotic Service Providers Legal Education and Research Project, uh, ESPLER. ESPLER. Uh, decriminal, DecriminalizeSexWork.com is the website people can visit to read more about that and support the lawsuit. It's in federal district court right now. We're, we're waiting for a ruling from the judge. Uh, if he rules against us and grants the opposition's motion to dismiss, we're going to appeal it to the Ninth uh, Federal Circuit Court of Appeals, which is the most liberal uh, federal circuit court, and we hope we'll have a better chance there. But we need uh, we're trying to raise thirty thousand dollars to uh, fund that appeal. It's never easy. I sincerely hope you can uh, pull it up because this could, you know, California. One of the biggest places in the world. It's uh, what the eighth economy in the world if it was its own country. So if things yeah, can get changed, and we're in the really making progress here. We just our local meeting of the Sex Workers Outreach Project, another group. Uh, we had a, a state legislator show up with his aide. We didn't even know the guy was coming. We hadn't invited him. You know, <laughs> like half a dozen of us there, and the state legislator walks in, which is I know not as big a deal in New Hampshire, where you have actually more accountable, uh, you know, state legislators. But it's a big deal in California. Yeah, yeah, each of these guys has like, you know, hundreds of thousands of constituents in their district. Yeah. And so this guy came in, he said, I want you guys to come to our October 20th hearing and testify, you know, uh, you know, he said he's in favor of legalization. Um, you know, he's holding his hearing on sex trafficking uh, in the Public Safety Committee and the, the State Assembly. So, yeah, things are heating up. Uh, you know, I think that the tide is turning on this as it has with the war on drugs, and we, we, can, uh, we can have a big victory potentially for liberty here. Yeah, I, I sincerely hope uh, you all the best. Uh, wish you all the best on this one, Star Child. So, Star Child, I've got a question for you. Since you did mention New Hampshire, sure. when are you moving? Oh, God. <laughs> you know, it's it's. I haven't forgotten about you guys, and I do plug the Free State Project all the time. I, I, I wish you the best. I, I may be there eventually. It's not like in the cards immediately, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, um, it's something I think about, and, and I, I do, uh, you know, I think what what you're doing up there is awesome, and I, I tell people about Keen as the the libertarian activist capital of the world. Thanks so much, Char Child. Hope to see yeah. you in well, Orlando you you over Memorial Day weekend. Absolutely, yeah. See you at the Libertarian National Convention there. It should be an awesome time. Yes, Good it job. will.
So there's the old joke. I think I think Star Child will move here the moment that they discover a way scientifically to allow him to walk around in nothing but a speedo in the dead of winter. <laughs> um, you know, if you're a uh, a gay sex worker, San Francisco might be the right place for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. not. You know, I mean, I, I would love Star Child to move here. He's an, a phenomenal activist, but people have to look at what uh, what's right for them at the same time. There's the old Derek joke. Derek just moved to San Francisco from Keene. Yes, Derek J., our former co-host, um, and I hope the best for him, too. I don't know. From what I heard about the Republican convention, I would think that, you know, if you could find a place that's staunchly Republican, that would probably also be a great place to be a, a gay sex worker. <laughs> you know, the old joke, uh, I'm reminded of, uh, you know, the the, the, person, the lady who says that uh, sex work is, uh, you know, that the prostitution is a terrible thing. A guy offers her $500,000 for sex. She says, okay. Um, then he offers her $5. She says, what kind of woman do you take me for? He says, we've already established that. Mm -hmm. Now we're just dickering over price. Right. And this is ultimately what it's what it's about. I mean, if you're willing to take a million dollars, then you're one too. Everybody's a hooker. 855-450-3733. 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. Uh, no way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9 millimeter bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? They found them at PatriotNecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. PatriotNecklace.com? PatriotNecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American-made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service-related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from PatriotNecklace.com. Okay, open your mouth and say, ah. Ah. When your child has a sore throat, you need to know when to get help. The doctor recommended Say Ah Sore Throat Exam is your solution. The scientifically designed oral retractor offers a clear view of the throat, relaxing the tongue and minimizing gag reflex. Compare with a medical grade chart, website, and app. Then you'll know just what to tell your doctor. A wellness plan in your hands in minutes. Go to sayahahnow.com. Sayahnow.com, the new mainstay for every family's first aid kit. Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self-government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. This is your Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Daily Precious Metals Update. In early trading Thursday, gold is $2 higher at $1,118 per ounce. Silver is up $0.11 cents at $14.70 per ounce. Bitcoin is trading at $236 U.S. dollars. This is a great time to buy on the dips. We have plenty of Australian silver spiders and kangaroos in stock. Give us a call, 800-874-9760, or visit us online at rrbi.co. LRN.FM is proud to announce our official listening apps for Android and iOS devices. Now you can easily tune into our streams anywhere, anytime on your smartphone or tablet. Just visit apps.lrn.fm or search for LRN.FM in the Android or Apple app stores. Please download, rate it five stars, then share the link on social media, and let your friends and family know how you're listening to LRN.FM. Download it now, free at apps.lrn.fm. That's apps.lrn.fm. If you are successful at what you do, whether you're a doctor, a lawyer, a business owner, or you have a great career, you understand the concept of protecting yourself. Well, are you protecting yourself, your family, and your assets with quality term life insurance? Consider these possible rates. A man age 45 non-tobacco user could obtain $1 million of coverage for as little as $75 a month. And this rate is fixed for the next 10 years. We specialize in policies of $5 $500,000 and above. 
a man aged 50, non-tobacco user, may be able to obtain $500,000 of coverage for as little as $115 a month. And this rate is fixed for the next 20 years. We have great rates for smokers, too. Call the Term Lifeline now. 800-872-0403. 800-872-0403. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. The number is 855 855- 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. We've been all over the board this evening from the Republican debate criteria to a psychologist who's blinded a willing woman. Sometimes after watching Republican debates, don't you feel a little bit like blinding yourself? No, I really don't. <laughs> I, no, I, see, that's, that's what why the off you don't even for. watch the Republican <laughs> debates. I don't spend much time on it. I usually try to get the highlights and, uh, you know, the, but, uh, you know, the only, I only do that because. I feel like I'm obligated for for the listeners. Um, I'm not saying I'm commenting on their appearance, but there's plenty of material there. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the feds shutting down rentboy.com, which was a uh, I guess a, a gay prostitution website, and um, you know you were paying for time, and anything that happened was between consenting adults. Mark, I wasn't paying for anything. Don't, don't, don't lay it on my door. The colloquial <laughs> you. <laughs> the users of rentboy.com. Indeed. Those were paying for time spent with one of the handsome gentlemen, and anything that happened was between consenting adults. Yeah, I've heard that. Uh, I've, I've heard those kind of things happen. Uh, now, uh, the story gets. The, there's, always an, there's always a weirder one out there. From the DailyMail.co.uk, an AP history teacher, Lynn Pierce, 64, was pl- placed on paid leave from Heritage High School in Newport News, Virginia, because she used the N-word while discussing why some people object to the Washington Redskins name. What would you think if someone started a team called the Newport News n Pierce asked the class. And this apparently was, that's it. I mean, this word is so loaded that you got to, you got to go to timeout is the, uh, the teacher equivalent here from the daily mail. A veteran Virginia high school teacher has been placed on administrative leave after using the N word while discussing the use of derogatory names. I, I agree. The word Washington should be stripped from the name of the Washington Redskins. Really, you don't think the Washington Redskins should change their name? Oh, I completely think they should, but I'm just making the joke that I find Washington, D.C. to be the more offensive of the two terms. I get you. Um, Johnson, Washington Redskins, change, change the name? Change the name? No, absolutely not. Why not? Because it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's been around forever, and it's, they haven't had a problem with it. I mean, I, I think the whole, like— I think people have had a problem with it. Oh, well, well. People yeah. have had a problem with it. Now, there, there are a couple of exceptions to the whole, you know, this name is offensive thing. Florida State University, they actually have had petitions signed by the Seminole Tribe requesting that they not change the name right. because the Seminole Tribe finds it to be an honor— that the na- the the team mascot is named after them. They actually have someone that winds up dressing as Chief Osceola and riding the horse and throwing the flaming spear in midfield mm-hmm. before all of the home games. So they look at it as a great honor. Now there are some of the others, Redskins, there have been uh Blackhawks, the Chicago Blackhawks hockey team. Where they're just, you know, sort of like taking a jab, like the Atlanta Braves 
I guess you know I'm I'm probably a bad person to ask because of this on the I'm of the opinion that if you care you're kind of stupid. Um, if there was a team that was like called the White Skins and they had a big redneck as their logo, I wouldn't care because who cares? Get a life. No, it's a sports they... team. If you care about it and you care about their logo and their thing and you're chanting and you're putting face paint on, I don't care about you or your hobbies. All right, so hold on, <laughs> but before I continue with my thought that I had about uh, government hypocrisy, I've got a question for you, Johnson. Sure. I play fantasy football with Chris Reitman, who has been a fill-in co-host. <laughs> I don't Do care. you think that we're both idiots and should die because we? I didn't say that the people are idiots that are, should die. I just don't care. I don't care about your hobbies. Well, okay. And okay. and like, if you want to care about that, no, okay, they, fine. The, but, the reason I asked the question the way I did is sure. because there are some libertarians. Uh, yeah, that, that are anti-people like, in sports. Yeah, that's they're stupid anti too. You entertaining yourself differently than they do. Yeah, that's ridiculous You're like, I, those You're people are sheep. out of their you minds you should die and yeah. it's like uh okay because i do something other than smoke weed sports, all day sports serves a very important function in society it is called social lubricant it is what salespeople and general people in offices use to communicate in a way that's not about politics and religion and issues of the day because sports don't matter. That's the whole point of sports is so that people can actually use them to talk to each other without talking about anything important at all. Right. So let me <laughs> well, now get into on. my no, government. Hold on, hold on. Hold on a second. For God's sakes, you've been able to – you've had the last nine questions with Mr. Johnson here. <laughs> Johnson. Do you think that there would be something more objectionable about calling, say, the Minnesota Vikings the big, tall, blonde dullards? I wouldn't care either I way. I don't care whether you care or right. not. I asked you a specific question. The question is, do you think it would be more or less objectionable? Or more or equally objectionable as calling them the Vikings? What if they called them the white skins? Well, I don't know how many people have called them the white skin. Pale faces? Sure. Okay. Who cares? I do. So you have a problem with, you know, like being judged or whatever by that, I guess. I it's don't like, have as know, big like, of a problem because, um, you know, I benefit from, uh, you know, being the, the dominant uh, ethnicity um, in, in the area. But I can see, but I would say that, look, I'm not interested in any sports teams being called any derogatory terms that refer to white people. I and think so that, therefore I would prefer not to have uh, sports teams that refer to Is the term redskin derogatory or yes. is it descriptive? They, redskins consider it that way. You know, like They've chosen to, that's what I'm saying. They're choosing to be offended by that. Well, yes, they're choosing to be offended by that. And people who are offended by anything are if choosing to be offended. If somebody goes around saying, well, you know why white skins isn't a term? Because no one cares. Like that's the whole thing. If you choose to be offended by something, you can make anything into a thing. If I if pe if white the people Notre start Dame, started getting offended by the term cracker, you could turn it into a thing. The, the Notre Dame it's not, fighting though. Irish would be more offensive if it was the drunken Irish. By the way, that's why I can say cracker on the radio, because no one cares. It's one of those terms that like white people aren't offended by. White people haven't made it into a thing. I gotta say that um, you know if if a ethnic group is offended by a term, I'm going to be against it being used as a sports team and. You know, I mean, I guess the Washington Redskins are taking the uh, making the choice, but they sure. shouldn't get any government money. Sure, uh, make the choice all you want. I d all I'm saying is my opinion is I don't care. All if right. they if there are people out there that want to care and they want to get involved with that and do that, make that your thing. Go for it. That's what you want to make your life choices about is, you know, well, that's the ground that you want to stand okay. on. C Go for it. Obviously, continuum. that's important to you. Caring's a continuum. Sure, absolutely. I don't care is at zero. Right. Now, that you can have, you, that there's a negative uh, negative 10 to positive 10, 10 sure. continuum, and caring is one side or the other of this. Um, now, if you could say you're somewhere between negative 1 and negative 10 saying that uh, you're against it and positive 1 and positive 10 being for it, but... You know, for me, I, I'm not going to go out and I'm not going to Washington, D.C. to pick at the stadium. So I'm not at a 10, but I'm going to say, OK, I see the point that the people are making here and I support that point because it makes logical sense to me. It's unacceptable for a tax funded major league team to call themselves a derogatory uh, racial slur. So therefore, I am at some level between three and one, um, uh, you know, f uh, for them changing their name. So what about all of the derogatory racial slur names used by the military for their equipment? Like? 
The Apache helicopter. The Tomahawk a, missile. The Tomahawk missile. Not derogatory. Uh, yes. Yes, it is. It's just as derogatory as Atlanta Braves. <laughs> the Fat Man Bomb. <laughs> okay. So they call themselves, uh, they, they call one of their devices a Claymore. Which is a large, uh, you know, large sword that was used in Western Europe to kind of fend off other people. No one considers that derogatory, they so therefore, call one... calling a tomahawk missile is not worse because it's just what a weapon. They called the one of the Apache bombs they dropped the on Japan. They called one of the bombs they dropped on Japan Fat Man, and that's sizest. It was a fat bomb. It was sizes. Your thoughts, 855-450-3733. If I can't get people to comment on sports names, I don't know what I can do. 855-450-FREE, <laughs> free, free Talk Live. Currency is too important a thing to be left in the hands of government bureaucrats, especially when billions of dollars can be created with the swipe of a pen. Overstock.com supports the cryptocurrency movement because it returns the power of an inflation-proof form of money to the people where it belongs. Did you know that you can use Bitcoin to pay for anything Overstock.com sells while enjoying free shipping on orders of 0.211 Bitcoin or more? If you support freedom and the cryptocurrency movement, you should support Overstock.com. Before girls' night out, my eczema flared up. Ugh, I felt like canceling. But then I tried Cortisone 10 Eczema Relief. It's specially formulated for eczema and has 1% hydrocortisone, the strongest non-prescription itch medicine for fast, lasting itch relief. It quickly stopped the itch and soothed my red, dry, flaky skin. With Cortisone 10 Eczema Relief, I was ready for girls' night out, and it was the best one ever. Cortisone 10 Eczema Relief. Feel the heal. Use as directed. The human body is more than 60% water. Your brain and muscles are 75% water. And your blood is 92% water. Water is vital to your body, and alkalizing your water is the key to keep it running at its best. AlkaVision Plasma pH drops keep your entire body healthy, boosts energy, promotes weight loss, and even fights cancer. Call 800-518-7615 or go to AlkaVision.com to find out more. That's ALKAVision.com. So you've got to take a state construction license exam or certification. Can't decide on what books or what chapters to study? Discover right now how you can eliminate unnecessary books and wasted study time. At ContractorExam.com, our study materials zero in on state-required test topics in an effective, multiple-choice format. So whether you're a plumber, electrician, general contractor, or other construction-related trade, ContractorExam.com will help get you prepared. Visit us at www.ContractorExam.com today. Keenvention is coming up fast, October 30th through November 1st. Get your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Keenvention is an intimate event where you can meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire, including Oath Keeper Chris Reitman, Libertarian presidential candidate Daryl W. Perry, illegal Uber driver Christopher David, Neocash Radio's Dr. Darren Tapp, State Representative Mike Sylvia rated an a by the NHLA, The Seditious Sirens, The Rebel Love Show's Rob Mathias, Tech Guru Brian Sovereign, Cop blocker J.P. Freeman, new mover Dr. Taryn Lupo, longtime political activist Dennis Goddard, Church of the Invisible Hand Minister Rich Paul, Shire Dude, and dozens more. Only 100 tickets are available in advance, so lock yours in now for just $60 or with Bitcoin. That includes access to the Hello Keen Costume Dance Party. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more speaker announcements, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate. Oof, I think we've all had enough of that jingle, don't you? If you're going to invest in property in New Hampshire, it just makes sense to support a liberty-friendly realtor. Call Mark Warden of Team Porcupine Real Estate for investment property or rentals in the free state. Or visit his website. Come on, you know it. PorcupineRealEstate.com 
You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live. The number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We got a uh, woman who's apparently been suspended as a teacher, an AP teacher, for discussing, uh, well, not just discussing, sort of being very explicit in what she meant here. Um, She's discussing the idea that uh, some people uh, object to the Washington Redskins name, and she asked the class, what would you think if someone started a team called the Newport News Inwards? So that's the that's the question on the table here. And um, yeah, you know, um, what I'm what I believe that this shows is a what a loaded term this is. You can use pretty much any other epithet, uh, racially oriented epithet on the air, but you certainly can't. You can't say this one. Um, and. That's because I think there's also so a huge difference between saying the N word and saying black skins. Well, huge difference. What major is, mess, you know, like major, major difference. What's the worst term you can use for um, an American Indian? Uh, there's Red, redskin was kind of the worst term you could use, right? Like it just because like you, you're saying that black skin or white skin relates to red skin. And I'm saying that it doesn't necessarily, the only two things that I've ever heard in relation to that is engines, which is kind of just a mis a country, uh, you know, colloquial pronunciation of Indian and which is what most Indians call themselves, Indians. Uh, some people will try to use the term Native American. I think that that's factually inaccurate. Uh, everybody who's born in the United States is a Native, Native American. Right. Um, some people are using First Peoples or First Nations. Uh, there's a variety that's of things. That's the official term in Canada. Yeah, it hasn't really stuck in, um, here in the United States. So you asked, so I'm going to have to answer, yep. and the worst possible term that you could probably use would be drunk. <laughs> that is, uh, I suppose you could, but obviously it doesn't refer specifically to Indians. Sure. So redskin, I'm going to take redskin as the most derogatory term you can use for an American Indian. And so therefore, her analogy is somewhat similar, right? So she's using the most derogatory term you can use for a black person to and asking, why is it that you can get away with the most um, derogatory term for a, an Indian, but you can't get the mo- away with the most derogatory term for Uh, A black person. I I can think of several derogatory terms that I will not repeat on the air that I don't think anybody would even dare to think of to use as team names. There's a lot of them out there. So just just think of the derogatory term for people from uh, Mexico or South America. Yep, that's not a great one. The derogatory term for people from uh, most of Eastern Asia. Yep, there's a there's a few of those. And, uh, you know, I guess one of the reasons I believe you were talking about uh, the military using in- Indian type words for Apache, military stuff. Comanche, Chinook, Lakota, Cheyenne, Kiowa, just there's, to name a few. Kiowa. Um, there's a lot of them. And the reason they use them is like none of those are derogatory terms. They're just yeah. factual the, terms. The, worst the reason terms- that they use them is, is because they respect the fierceness of these fighters, and they are, after all, a warrior organization. Go ahead, Johnson. So I forgot I had forgotten them, but the two worst terms that I've heard for Indians, and I'm not going to say them in full. Well, I'll say one of them in full. Um, is tomahawk chucker is one. Okay, I've heard that before. That's just dumb. That's like calling it an Italian dumb. person spaghetti bender. Yeah. I mean, I you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's spaghetti I mean, is incredibly easy to bend once you get it in hot water. It does have you do have to put it in hot water, otherwise you're gonna break it. But you'd only know that because you've bent spaghetti. Um, you know, I mean, I'm so that's a spaghetti bender. That's kind of lame. I've all heard, right. The other one I've heard is prairie. N- yeah, yeah, I've heard that. I, I get. I haven't heard that, but I get the idea of what you're saying. Yeah. Um, but that's only a play on that other term. Um, and then the other two. Actually, there are two more. Squaw and squanto. Squaw. I thought was like a legit term. Squanto um, was a, like the real name of the guy that helped out the the pilgrims. Yeah, I can see how they've Squaw been misused. Squaw is a slang term for yeah. a female sexual organ. Yeah. 
I thought it was a real term for a female no. Indian. Nope. No. No? No. There you go. That's it's a it's slang, slang term for yeah, it a was female so, sexual It's organ. so commonly used slang that you thought it was a real term. Yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah. I did. And, and it's actually, yeah, it, it, Daryl is absolutely correct. It is. Mark, going back to we're naming it uh, in their honor, there was a college, I believe it was North Dakota or North Dakota State, that was the Sioux. And the NCAA, the National Collegiate Athletic Association, told them, if you don't change your team mascot, you will be permanently barred from postseason activities. So the school's actually in the Lakota Nation. Yes. And Lakota Sioux Nation. Yes. And uh, they're told that they have to change their name from the Sioux. See, this is one of the difficulties. This is what I've been told, and I've looked it up, and the best I can tell, this is, you know, not untrue is that if you like you know have you the little league, the, the the indian little league team or whatever they're always going to call themselves the braves this is or you know some kind of term that relates to their heritage which is awesome like there's nothing wrong with that now uh, by the by the way mark so i'm getting these uh, these names or whatever from i didn't even know that this was a website you know you i'm sure you've heard of imdb right the internet movie yeah i've heard that so i'm getting this from rsdb.org which is the racial slur database. <laughs> so, Never knew it was a thing. It is a thing, and it's for all different races. And this one, I, I, I found myself laughing at one. That's This is really horrible. One, TP Creeper. TP Creeper? That's another racial term. Yeah, that's just like spaghetti bender to me. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, you know what I think? Pull up the I white ones, because those will be funny. Okay, sure. Beavis. Beavis is what? I, I am just... Cornholio. I need TP for my bungle. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's funny. Dutch. All right. See, so when, when he said TP, I'm thinking toilet paper, not I see. You know, Cornholio. I remember him. Yeah. Vaguely. So yeah, I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with most teams that call themselves, you know, whatever Indian terms they're using. That's not wouldn't be my fight. Um, I would say that the Cleveland Indians need to come up with some, uh, you know, character that's not some kind of buck tooth looking, uh, you know, troglodyte. And that the Washington Redskins should just go ahead and name themselves something more appropriate to Washington, D.C. Criminals? Uh, yeah, well, I, the, yeah. The Washington criminals and their mascots a congressman? Yeah, th- something like that would be uh, would be more appropriate in my um, my belief system. but Probably you know, more offensive. The, you know, Potomac, I don't know. There's something they can name their team that doesn't have to do with that. The Senators. There used to be a senator. Then they could, you know, then everybody would be happy when they lost. That, that was a baseball team. That, right. There the used Washington to be. <laughs> Senators was a baseball team. There used to be a team called the Senators. Yes. That's, that was an accurate statement. Yeah. So I've got the whites up. Yep. Some of them, one I just laughed at was bird turd. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> Cause there's some white in that. <laughs> because, yeah, bird. Because you're white. Bird, yeah, it it bird, is alliterative. Bird no, poop rhymes. is white. It rhymes. Yeah, it rhymes. Rhymes and it rhymes. Everybody likes rhyming stuff. And uh, bird poop is white. Okay. Uh, so, oh, there's a, an Indian slang for white, Belagana. It's a Navajo term, which uh, roughly translates to silly white person. Okay, well, yeah. Betty Crocker refers to white women in general. <laughs> Betty has uh, gotten a, a makeover, you know. Um, now the Betty Crocker character has gotten a little, gotten a tan. Have you noticed that? Uh, no, I've You no. didn't see the news story? Well, so, I mean, Betty so Crocker now, always had brand, brown hair, and now if you darken her up a little bit, she can be just about anybody. So now the beach and would be yeah. referring to uh, overly tanned people. Okay. Surfers. Yeah, I got to. Uh, that for one. white people. Th- this could somewhat be used to describe Mark. Bacon bits. Bacon bits? Oh, yeah. For white people because they'll eat pork? No, uh, they they will uh, have relations with pigs. Have well, <laughs> is, that, that's the claim. Is you know th- you you really love your pigs. The um, the or so argument. I heard at Porkfest. Yeah, well, um, Hazel just likes to snuggle, really. So anyway, boss what, is another one. Boss, boss is a racial term because it's it's. Uh, commonly used by American minority groups, blacks, Hispanics, Asians, to refer to white people. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a slur. The, it is if they're intending it as one. Okay, fine. Um, I, I can, I guess I can take all these uh, with a, with a grain of salt. Casper. <laughs> the idea. Clam head. Hold on, just a second. So the <laughs> the claim is is uh, by some some blacks is, is you know so these black nationalist types is that well Cain had to breed with somebody. Cain was a good old fashioned black guy. He had to breed with somebody, so he found a pig in the land of Nod and bred with that, and that's how you got white people. 
Okay. And that's the notion as far as bacon bits goes. Saltine apparently is also a... That's uh, just for somebody who doesn't have the guts to say cracker. Yeah. Same <laughs> sentiment. Yeah. Flower bag. Flower bag? Yep. What do you suppose that means? Oh, because flower is yeah, white. Right. I was thinking oh, it was a, like a purse with flowers on the side of it or something. Yep. Sheet head. Sheet head. All refers right. Refers to because the clan, they wear the sheets on okay. their head. It seems so close to towel head. That Gringo it's... and Guaylo, of course. Yeah. I don't know if I'm familiar with Guaylo. Guaylo is Chinese. Okay. Or Cantonese. Snowflake. Yeah. Well, there you go. Take Gaijin. Out the, take out the hour with uh, slurs for white people. 855-450-3733. We can say whatever we want, uh, apparently, on this issue. It's not a problem. <laughs> 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. If worse comes to worst, will you be prepared? You don't have to be a survivalist to prepare for the unexpected. Storing necessary supplies like food, water, and emergency equipment is simply taking responsibility for ourselves and our families when it counts the most. StrategicShelters.com offers emergency supplies and a secure way to store them and provides protection for loved ones in the event of an extreme natural or man-made disaster. To find out more, visit StrategicShelters.com. If you expect secure, privacy-oriented services and real human support from your web hosting provider, choose Virtual Space International. From domain names and SSL certificates to offshore banking accounts, Virtual Space International has been the all-in-one, multi-language solution for over 25 years. And satisfaction is guaranteed or your money back. We even accept Bitcoin. Find out how to get 50% off for life at SaveTimeHosting.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at Bitcoin.com. That's Bitcoin.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, October 1st, 2015. Silver is trading at $14.49 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,114 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $238. Antiwar.com reports having promised a hugely important announcement during his address to the UN General Assembly, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas on Wednesday announced that the Palestinian Authority no longer considers itself bound by existing agreements with Israel because the Israeli government keeps violating those pacts. Abbas in particular noted the 1993 Oslo Accord, which was supposedly to end the Israeli occupation of Palestine by 1999, noting that Israel is dramatically escalating settlement activities and has not terminated the occupation as promised. Saying the status quo can no longer continue, Abbas declared that Israel should consider itself obliged to fulfill all the responsibilities of an occupying power in the Palestinian territories. This would include ensuring food and medical supplies are provided to those living under occupation and explicitly forbids settlement. The Israeli Prime Minister's office condemned the announcement as incitement and demanded that Abbas unconditionally accept new talks with Israel. Israel. The past round of peace talks ended in failure when Israel reneged on promised prisoner releases. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said the speech proved Abbas does not want a peace deal. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. 
UPI reports Oklahoma Governor Mary Fallon stepped in at the last minute to stop the execution of Richard Glossop on Wednesday afternoon, not over concerns about his guilt or innocence, but rather worries over the lethal injection procedure. Fallon was literally the last hope for Glossop after the U.S. Supreme Court denied a last-minute stay of execution earlier in the day. The high court voted 8-1 to one in allowing Glossop's execution, scheduled for Wednesday, to proceed. The dissenting justice was Stephen Breyer, who argued in June that it is likely that capital punishment violates the Constitution's ban on cruel and unusual punishment. Fallon's intervention was based on concerns about the state's three-drug lethal injection method, which includes potassium acetate, which is not among the list of approved drugs for use in execution. Oklahoma state law allows potassium chloride, which can stop the heart as an acceptable drug, but not potassium acetate. Fallon said in a statement Wednesday, last-minute questions were raised today about Oklahoma Oklahoma's execution protocol and the chemicals used for lethal injection. After consulting with the Attorney General and the Department of Corrections, I have issued a 37-day stay of execution while the state addresses those questions and ensures it is complying fully with the protocols approved by federal courts. The governor's executive order postpones Glossop's execution until at least November 6th. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports ending weeks of infighting, the U.S. Congress on Wednesday voted to avert a government shutdown just hours before a midnight deadline, passing a stopgap measure to extend funding for federal agencies until December 11th. The House of Representatives relied heavily on Democrats to secure passage in a 277 to 151 vote. A large majority of Republicans voted against the measure, which did not meet conservative demands to cut off money to women's health care provider Planned Parenthood amid an abortion controversy. Obama welcomed the news with a tinge of sarcasm and remarks to a group of progressive state legislators in Washington. Obama said, The good news is that it looks like the Republicans will just barely avoid shutting down the government for the second time in two years. That's a somewhat low bar, but we should celebrate where we can. The bad news is, it looks like the Republicans will just barely avoid shutting down the government again for the second time in two years. Earlier in the day, by a vote of 78 to 20, the Senate approved the legislation that was needed to keep the government running at current levels with the start of the new fiscal year on Thursday. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. This week, badly shaken researchers reported observing an osprey stalking, killing, and devouring an adult male lion in what is being called a massive food chain shakeup. Confirmation of the three-pound marine bird consuming the 400-pound feline has biologists scrambling to determine the new predator-prey connections between the planet's billions of organisms. We seem to be experiencing some sort of cross-species dietary free-for-all. Scientists say that the killing of the healthy, full-grown lion by a typical osprey specimen has lent credibility to research recent reports of a deer seen grazing on a nest of squirrels in Wisconsin, as well as a claim made by a group of Japanese fishermen who say they witnessed 300 million krill devouring a 40-ton humpback whale. In other news, NASA acquires the moon for an upcoming Kennedy Space Center exhibit. A radio DJ invites the whole town to some bullshit, and assuming the many universes theory of quantum mechanics is accurate, the review you've just seen will remain relevant in another reality for all eternity. For more, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. Free Talk Live. It's the show where you can call in and talk about whatever's on your mind. This Thursday evening, it is uh, Mark with you. Daryl. And Johnson. So, we have been all over the board this evening. You can call in on any of these topics or anything else. So the Republican debate, uh, the Washington Redskins names, the uh, the federal shutdown of Rent Boy. I've been strongly uh, preaching white privilege. <laughs> whatever that means. 
Um, I mean, it's it's the it's the privilege to not care about these racial slurs. I suppose that's because it. I'm supposedly because I'm white, so I can therefore have the privilege of not caring. I suppose anyone could not care. Right, that's their privilege. Right, uh, but there has been a shooting today, and that was apparently. I don't know a four chan um, for those four chan shooter. I don't know what it means. He posted on four chan in advance. Yeah, I I have no clue. I was given this link, and it seems to be some kind of chat log or something. Uh, the first post says some of you guys are all right. Don't go to school tomorrow if you're in the northwest. Happening thread will be posted tomorrow morning. So long, space robots. And I don't know if any of these follow-up comments are by the same person because they all say anonymous. All right, fine. I'll read an article. <laughs> you guys arguing. A sinister warning message purportedly from the shooter who opened fire at an Oregon college allegedly appeared on an internet forum on Wednesday night. The message, which was posted anonymously on the bulletin board 4chan, read, Some of you guys all are all right. Don't go to school tomorrow if you are in the Northwest. Less than 24 hours later, a shooter opened fire at Umpqua Community College, leaving 13 people dead and dozens injured. It's not clear if the post is a hoax and DailyMail.com cannot verify the authentic... The shooting's not a hoax, though, right? <laughs> yeah, the shooting's not a, host, a hoax. I guarantee you somebody will claim that the shooting didn't happen because people make that claim after every shooting. Yeah, that's yeah, what well, we, that's we, need, we need to be sure to... Uh, um, you know, make sure that somebody's going to be able to be saying that. So uh, they they couldn't verify the authenticity of the message, and Fortune has been contacted for a response. Okay, um, Fortune has been contacted. <laughs> Hold on, just a second. This Describe Fortune to everybody. Fortune is a web forum that is a loosely. Uh, affiliated group of people of all ages but i suspect a large number of them are young teenage men young teenage and pre-adolescent males do the uh is there a leader of 4chan uh there used to be this guy named moot but i think he sold it or something like that okay i don't know what happened that there's certainly someone that owns the domain name i want to hear more about it but uh, let's go to richard calling in from pennsylvania richard you're on free talk live what's on your mind Hi, so I saw your post on uh, Facebook about the white teacher that got suspended for saying the N-word. That's right. Um, is this a public school or is this a private school? It's an AP teacher, so I get the impression it is a government school. If it is a private school, then don't you run into the tragedy of the commons? You mean a, public, a government school? A tragedy. Yep. Yes. Seeing as though everyone is actually paying for the public school, whether or not they use it, this actually just means that you can pretty much do anything in public spaces. I mean, since you are forced to being paid for paying for that education, even though you are not using it, um, Dictate says that you should be able to do whatever you want. And therein lies the tragedy of the commons. I'm not advocating for the n-word i think it's a horrible word and everything but i'm just saying uh from from that line of reasoning anything goes well i would agree with you that the, the public school has uh suffers from the tragedy of the commons in this circumstance though i think something else is in play when an, when a uh when an, a let's call it a movement or an organization begins to eat its own um you know begins to vilify those that agree with it because they are not uh, doctrinaire enough, that's when you know things are sort of on the downhill f slide for that organization or movement. In this case, this woman is basically making the point that no one should be uh, using racial slurs, especially in their business or place of work, and she is then uh, fired for making the point that you shouldn't do it. Or I should say fired. She was suspended with, uh, with pay. So, uh, but that doesn't, uh, like, like, see, I don't think that actually is a problem right there, right? Because the point is, is that the N-word doesn't actually have any magic behind it. Of course Apparently it, it does. Behind it. No, of course it has the history behind it. No, I'm saying else. apparently it has magic behind it. Because she could say Redskin, oh, well, yeah. and she couldn't say the N-word. 
Well, yeah, then that's ridiculous. That's the point. Is is that I, I guess um, one of the, one a point that you could take away from this? I suppose there's a couple of points you could take away from this. Is what uh, one's intended to understand is a that um, that you may never use the N word. Period. It's just too terrible. Or b don't um, you know don't compare that plight of ethnically underprivileged folks to our plight as under uh, ethnically underprivileged folks now i don't know whether um you know the the person who suspended her or the people who chose to suspend her what their thought process was in it but i don't think they're sending any particular message other than we're scared well then why uh, here's another question and i know this is a radio show so if you need to boot me that's fine but, don't use um, the n word <laughs> Well, I'm not going to use the N-word, but um, I was going to ask you, what, what exact, do you think that the free market would be able to easily just um, mitigate these concerns when it comes to institutionalized racism or anything else like that? I do believe that is a thing, but really what it has to deal with is the institution in itself. If we had private property and segregation that was completely voluntary, uh, wouldn't that just solve the problem? I don't think in the case of the Washington Redskins it necessarily would. Um, all I can say with the Wa- Washington Redskins is, is that they should change their name. I think it, I find their name to be offensive. However, um, I think that they can probably find 50,000 butts to put in seats in Washington, D.C. Um, to you know do their, uh, do their business. That is assuming that every other football team also has to sort of abide by a free market uh, set of rules. So pretty much every team currently gets their stadium paid for by taxpayer money in some way, shape, or form. So they're all operating by the same set of rules. So I don't think that it would be any particular difference for the Washington uh, Washington team, whatever they might name themselves. I'm saying they should go ahead and name themselves the Senators or something. Um, you know, it's got some historical gravitas. Yeah, well, I, I'm saying you're going down some sort of slippery slope once you uh, begin, like, saying, well, certain words are not all right in public spaces, by the way. In private spaces, I completely understand. But in public spaces, when you do that, then it's basically going down a slippery slope where slope where you can police language. And I think well, that's very Words are a slippery slope. I mean, there are loaded uh, derogatory terms. Um, no one's going to deny that. And and, um, you know, I, I think the best way to deal with that is to, you know, protest, talk about it in your daily life, ostracize the, uh, the business in whatever way you do. I'm not saying that the um, Washington Redskins should be, well, if the NFL wants to kick them out, that's their business, not mine. I'm not saying that they, the government should go in and shut them down, though. I, I'm, just, I'm just thinking, like, why why is the Washington like why are these words like so offensive to people like obviously of course there's the history behind it and everything else like that's that. why but when you use yeah I know but I mean like well, there's these dead words people change over time and everything else like that so like when you're talking about like a bundle of sticks for gay people yeah sure and stuff like that that's what it means it means a bundle of sticks do you so understand the history behind the word Wait, wait, wait. The bundle of sticks. Do you understand why that term is used? Yes, because they said, let's go out and burn the gay people. Yeah, in, yeah, in Germany. And then they did it. And, oh, yeah, it, and then oh. they did it. So yeah. when you're using that term, essentially your your intent is to remind the gays that, oh, your kind was burned. It was set, set on fire and burned because you're a worthless human being. That's what the meaning behind that word is. And Which by you, the way, that high school is a call. public school. Eight, I know it is. 855-450-3733. 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon. But now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to saveitpurse.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. 
Go to saveitpurse.com right now, get signed up, and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 15 to 25% off of everything at Amazon through saveitpurse.com. It's saveatpurse.com. This is a healthcare alert from the Pain Relief Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee, back, shoulder, or ankle pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You don't have to suffer any longer. You can immediately qualify for a pain relieving brace at little or no cost to you by calling our 24 7 pain relief hotline at 866 389 0620. Delivery is free and all paperwork is handled for you. If you are on Medicare and have knee, back, shoulder, or ankle pain, don't wait. You can qualify to immediately receive a pain relieving brace at little or no cost by calling our 24 7 pain hotline now at 866 389 0620. Our representatives are standing by 24 7 to take your call and rush you your pain relieving brace at little or no cost to you. Shipping is free and all paperwork is handled for you. Just call 866 389 0620. That's 866 389 0620. Again, 866 389 0620. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc. As in Creative Commons. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. You can call in and talk about what you want. Apparently, there's been a shooting. Uh, apparently, that shooter was... At least a one-time poster on the web forum for, 4chan. Right. It seems like whenever news comes out of 4chan, it's usually laughably bad, but in this case, it's just bad. Oh, yeah. yeah. What, what was the thing where, like, uh, Mountain Dew said, name a flavor or something, and they were like, okay. Hitler is wonderful. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, 4chan. Uh, Mountain Dew had a sort of vote on your favorite name for Hitler, 4chan being who 4chan <laughs> is. No, Mountain Dew did not have a, Mountain Dew did not have a contest that said, vote put on your favorite name for Hitler, Mark. Oh, That's but, what you just said. Vader, I'm sorry, vote on your favorite name for uh, a flavor. <laughs> and I can't remember what the flavor was. But vote, <laughs> vote on your favorite name for Hitler, Mein that, Fuhrer. That'd be, that'd be a good one. Adolf. So um, what they did was, in fact, voted. I guess it was uh, Hitler did nothing wrong. Uh, that right. was the, yes, the, yeah, that's what it was. That was the, the name of the Mountain Dew flavor. <laughs> Mountain Dew's Hitler did nothing wrong is what the uh, the Fortune decided would be the best bet. They also apparently they, they wanted to name this uh, some space station thing Stephen Colbert and NASA named the treadmill Colbert and then did a backronym 
where Colbert stood for something, something resistant, something. Yeah. There was I also love when the marketing situation. geniuses do things like this and it completely backfires because they're doing it <laughs> online. Like, let's have a hashtag. You know, we need an essay contest. <laughs> we're going to have a hashtag for our political campaign. And, you know, or, or like I know we're going to have a hashtag for the New York police. That'll be a great idea. And what was the first, what was that uh, hashtag? Something, um, <laughs> tell your favorite New York NYPD story or something. Yeah. <laughs> they just kept on slamming them the whole way through. <laughs> They're telling you about a graphic novel that's uh, that's coming out that I'm excited about. It's called James versus the New World Order. So what would you do when a bizarre cult army calling itself the Trust invades your sleepy little mountain town? We'll find out what James Contrell, a big-hearted country boy with a crappy job, who's learned to live without dreams, what he does. Because sometimes the guy who's learned to live without dreams, he might be the best suited to handle a nightmare. Read the action, comedy, graphic novel, James vs. the New World Order by Brandon Bitros and illustrated by J. Matthew Root, the first in what is estimated to be a five-volume, 24-issue series. So, if this intrigues you, you can pre-order now. James versus the New World Order dot com, and that's their Kickstarter campaign, their crowdfunding to raise uh, the three thousand dollars for the artwork, the coloring, the production, distribution. You can go see what they've got going. It's uh, it's a great project. James versus the New World Order. It sounds assuredly to be more interesting than that story about a giant peach. I liked that story, <laughs> James versus that. the giant. Peach. But I like uh, fiction, liberty liberty oriented fiction, just because it uh, you know it's getting the ideas out there in a subliminal way. So, uh, going back more to talk about this uh, shooter guy. Uh, so, the post that was made to 4chan uh, in advance was, some of you guys are all right. Don't go to school tomorrow if you are in the Northwest. Happen- oh, and then it continued on to say, uh, which time stamped at 9- 19, 19 p.m., I guess, last night. Uh, happening thread will be posted tomorrow morning. So long, space robots. We'll post again in AM, 10-minute countdown. Won't say much more, too much to prepare. Uh, The alleged post is no longer visible on the website. Oh, yes, it is. The cast version was the first posted on Reddit. Under the disturbing message, many users encouraged the person to go ahead with their threat and even advised the poster on the best ways to kill people. Oh, God. One well, user wrote, this is 4chan, right? And I, I yeah. can understand why they didn't think that this was going to happen because the weirdest things happen there. Yeah, 4chan is like the worst place on the internet. And <laughs> yeah, like right. They're intentionally like trying to be they're horrible. They're awful, yeah. yeah. I suggest you enter a classroom and tell people that you will take them as hostages. Make everyone get in, the cor- in one corner and then open fire. <sighs> so it does seem like a good way to get them all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the type of things that these people write. (laughs) It's awful. Uh, You might want to target a girl's school, which is safer because there are no beta males throwing themselves for rescue, for the rescue. Uh, Do not, do not use a shotgun. I would suggest a powerful assault rifle or a pistol or two X pistols, possibly the type of pistols which have 15 plus ammo. Two times. uh, One in each hand. I see. Um. Yeah, you know, because you can totally aim <laughs> so you two gamer guns terms. at once. Yeah, that the, doesn't seem very effective the discussion, to me. Plus, how do you open the door? The discussion which has been going on at 4 for, uh, for many, many years, and I know this because I've been on 4 and unfortunately um, I have a brother who is no longer with us who was a serious fan of 4 Okay. And I would not put it past his passing being largely... Uh, from Fortune influence. Um, well, one of the wasn't there a guy that uh, did something where he took a bunch of pills and live streamed his thing and posted on Fortune, and people were like, "Yay, I hope you die." Probably. Um, one uh, the, the but uh, I mean, re- regardless of that, you know, people trying to kill themselves. Uh, this discussion that's been ongoing for the longest time about these school shooters and, and just in general people who are going on killing sprees. Um, the way Fortune has referred to it as getting the high score. Um, so essentially, they've been long, long discussing uh, serial killers, these like sh- you know killing sprees, kill- serial killers, in terms of who has killed the most people. Yeah, and they call that getting the high score. Yeah, that's pretty, ro- pretty, so, pretty, uh, pretty rotten. Yeah, but. So- I'm not surprised that adolescent right. males are having that conversation on the internet. Sure. So they say under the disturbing message, uh, 
Uh, several users advised the poster the best way is to kill people. They posted uh, one encouraging message, showed a photo of Elliot Roger, the man who killed six people near Santa Barbara University in May, May campus last year. It says, <laughs> the photo that they posted says, it takes a great man to do great things, become legendary. And uh, the photo is of Elliot Roger, and it says, stop waiting for things to happen. It's like a meme photo of Elliot Roger yeah. that says, stop waiting for things to happen. Uh, go out and make them happen. You know, That's I, the caption under the Elliot Rogers photo. I do wonder when he says, um, you know, make make yourself legendary. Is, is that how many how many decades do we have to go back for, you know, somebody, some leader of a band of, uh, you know, soldiers or whatever to have been considered glorious? This is the term they used for killing right. people, glory. Right. It's not like... Alexander the Great didn't wipe out, uh, you know, situ- wipe out women and children. I can tell you the Mongols wiped out, uh, you know, cities. If you didn't just bend to their wishes, they just wiped you out. Right. Now, here's, I mean, I will go, the, I'm going to say this about 4chan. There are two types of on 4chan. There are the people that get it. What's going on on 4chan in a lot of cases is just blue humor. Yeah. Right. So blue humor is a type of humor where people laugh at inappropriate things. Like we're laughing at the, the the the. It's funny that they got uh, the whole you know Mountain Dew marketer people. They made them right. look silly. Right. They make them look silly. I mean that's funny. But there's also just blue jokes. I mean anybody like Jim Norton is a great blue comedy a person. Louis C.K. Uh, tells a lot of blue dark humor. There's a lot of dark humorists out there that are very famous and they're very funny. Um, and you know Chris Cantwell. Uh, he's he tells a lot of jokes, and a lot of times he's funny. A lot of times he goes over the line. That he's funny. Blue humor rides a, there's a line. There's a everybody's line. got their own line, though. Right, sure, and everybody's got their own line. Well, that's what I'm saying about 4chan is there's this line. There, there are some people there that get it and are there. There's context and humor, and then there are just also psychopaths that are there that don't understand that this is all humor. 855-450-3733. What do you think should be done about uh, all these school shootings? 855-450 free. Are your Google search results killing you? Unflattering content in blogs, news articles, online reviews, social media, or other sources can jeopardize your reputation, your business, and your livelihood. Let Reputation.com help. Our patented technology will make the truth about you more visible while pushing down unwanted negative content. Improve your Google search results. Call Reputation.com at 1-800-831-0771 for a free consultation. That's 800-831-0771. Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists. Get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of Slingbow. A new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on to join the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. You can help by joining the AMP program for just $5 a month at amp.freetalklive.com and getting perks. That's amp.freetalklive.com. New Hampshire is under quarantine as walking corpses devour the flesh of the living. Max is 11 years old and surviving alone. Slow moving and non-thinking, the dead swarm his home. Now he must apply his Porcupine Freedom Scouts training to improvise his escape. Look for Survivor Max on Facebook, read reviews on Amazon, or read Chapter 1 at SurvivorMax.com. 
So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to saveitpurse.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to saveitpurse.com right now, get signed up, and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 15 to 25% off of everything at Amazon through saveitpurse.com. It's saveatpurse.com. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. The number is... 855 free. It's 855-450-3733. You can call in with, well, whatever's on your mind. We've been talking about this, uh, what we're calling the 4chan shooter. I'm not sure what uh, what terminology they're going to use for There's this guy. There's been more than one, so yeah, they'll probably use different terminology than that. Yeah, well, that's what we got. The shooting today that was in Oregon, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, tragic stuff, but apparently the shooter posted on the... Well, infamous website 4chan, message board 4chan before he uh, did this. And there's some things that were written there that, well, in retrospect, don't look so great. Right. Like uh, one of the pieces of bits of advice was carry a knife. Make sure that there is no way that someone can disarm you as it is possible. I suggest that you carry a knife on your belt as a last resort if someone is holding your gun. Yeah, that kind of advice. Yeah, that kind there of advice. Go. Or another advice, like, if you are suicidal and hate people, then do it. If not, then stay away from what will ruin your life. Yeah, some advice in retrospect uh, really seems horrifying. Some advice in retrospect you really wish you had, uh, had, had taken. And in the case of LegalZoom.com, you probably, if you need a legal document and you don't have it, well, you know, it's going to be a bad thing. What if you need, should have had a, a prenup? Or you should have filled out some kind of a will or a living trust or, you know, a trademark or patent or something like that in order to protect yourself. Over at LegalZoom.com, they've got all of these, uh, the, these forms. What they do is they ask you some easy questions and then you fill them out. I did my will over at LegalZoom.com. It was uh, great. And it's going to save my family a lot of trouble if things happen, you know, when I wasn't expecting them to. If you use coupon code FTL, you'll save 10 bucks on your order. It's LegalZoom.com. Had them a sponsor for quite some time, and so that uh, coupon code always works. LegalZoom.com. Coupon code FTL. What are some of the other things that they've uh, that you've got to share on this this uh, article, Johnson? Uh, I mean, that pretty much I think sums up everything that was like in the article. I mean, they they go into how many people were shot? Uh, thirteen. Thirteen. No, thirteen were killed. killed. Were Dozens killed. wounded. Whoa. According wow. to a news report that I saw while I was at the gym this afternoon. And what did he use to uh, to do this? Do we know the type of uh, weapon? Uh, I don't know. Assault, maybe he followed the advice and he had an assault rifle. It's always a Bushmaster. Know. Right. I always a Bushmaster. Well, it's, uh, it's a tragedy, and I sincerely hope, you know, the best for these families, but you never can tell what's going to occur. I, I do kind of want to cover, you can stop me if you think that this is uh, a thing. Oh, well, they, somebody also posted a link to the FBI tips website. Okay. Uh, FBI tips website, all right. Yeah. Oh, God. Another user posted, you are, you're only shooting college-age students, correct? I have grandparents that live up there. 
Uh, another producer user bemoaned how a shooting would mean gun licensing laws would once again be uh, in the spotlight. Other users expressed their horror and disgust at the forum. One person wrote, no one will respect you for this. They'll just see you for the S coward you are. Um, it, and it seems that one user of the message board had realized it could have a darker side and posted a link to the FBI tips website. It's not clear if contact was made with the agency. 4chan has not res yet responded to the Daily Mail's request for information regarding the authenticity of the post. So then there's this, which looks like they clipped from maybe a past writing. And I'm going to read a little bit here and you just tell me. It says, the ninth circle of hell. What is the web forum 4chan? The site is principally used by young men and its guarantee of anonymity, users don't have to register before posting messages, has seen it described as the ninth circle of hell. 4chan recently hit the headlines when someone calling himself Original Guy posted explicit pictures of Jennifer Lawrence and other stars on the notoriously sorted but influential internet image board. They're referring to 4chan. Yeah. Um, yet... It was, so this was the uh, whatever that situation was where so many of the starlets uh, were pictures uh, were right. shown. The function of 4chan, uh, you know, specifically B in a lot of cases, it's one of the th threads on that forum, is it? it's a place to post pictures and images and comments, but everyone is anonymous. No one has an identity on, on this site. Um, so that's if what this makes didn't it exist... Someone would create it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, this is there's the, there's just a space in the marketplace. A place for this. like 4chan will always exist. So uh, before you get back into that, I just pulled up information from CNN. Apparently, only ten people were killed. Seven other people were injured. The shooter among the people that were killed, and they do say earlier estimates had put the number of people that were killed and injured at being much higher. Okay. So earlier reports were wrong, 10 dead, 7 injured. No uh, no weapon listed? Uh, I'm looking through the article right now. Okay. That was the first two sentences. Jumps right out. That's the more important stuff, admittedly. Well, it goes on to talk here about 4chan. Yet it was set up by a sweet fifteen, uh, sweet faced fifteen year old school bot schoolboy, Christopher Poole, in his New York bedroom in 2003. This is Moot. Uh, his uh, his online name is Moot. He wanted to offer a forum for people, but to put whatever they wanted online with no rules and no fear of persecution. In 2009, Poole was voted the world's most influential person by Time magazine. Although 4chan users reportedly rigged the poll. <laughs> the original aim for 4chan as a slightly risque forum for teenagers soon turned into an internet cesspool. As I think users, that's a good, good uh, description of it. Yeah. As users exploited it to spread the most, most vile material. In so-called shock posts, they try to outdo each other in offensiveness. By the way, I my friends and I also did shock posts when there was no internet websites like this. There was no communication when I was in college. You know, just like sending each other stuff like this in emails, like shock emails, like horrific images. You know, to like just yep. you know be I, upsetting. It, it was. I'm like, sure many of the things that I said as a young person um, were, you know, if they were revisited upon me now, I'd be shocked by my lack of empathy. So it says, it goes on to explain, for example, pictures of dead people in car accidents are popular, as is extreme pornography and virulent racism. Uh, the biggest yeah, they do seem to uh, attempt to outdo each other yeah. as far as racism the goes. The goal is to be offensive, as, as offensive as possible. Yeah. The biggest difference between 4chan and other forums is that it allows commenters and contributors to post anonymously. Despite being the only type of material that is meant to be banned from the site, child porn is regularly posted. Pranks have included taunting the family of a suicide victim, starting bomb and How school awful. shooting scares, encouraging young fans of singer Justin Bieber to harm themselves and triggering a false rumor that Apple founder Steve Jobs had died of a heart attack. Anyone who offends the 4chan community or other cheerleaders for the out-of-control internet can expect revenge attacks. After the credit yeah, card company... That'd be great for Free Talk Live. We need that kind of publicity. <laughs> After the credit card companies, Visa and MasterCard, stopped handling donations to the wind whistleblowing website WikiLeaks, they were targeted by online vigilantes who managed to crash their websites. That's the thing. See, 4chan is also behind Anonymous, yeah. which does a lot of good, too. It's... It's a double-edged sword, that anonym yeah. the, the anonymity. Indeed, many members of the sinister mask-wearing international vigilante, vigilante hacking group Anonymous started out as 4chan members. Most of 4chan's offensive content is posted on its digital message board called B, where members call themselves B-tards and live up to the title with displays of vicious misogyny. 
Countless pages are devoted to revenge porn. One of the once the unpleasant practice of posting uh, publicly compromising photos of an ex-lover. This is now a catch-all term for any compromising photos of women published online without their consent. Right. So this, you don't necessarily. These aren't uh, pictures that are necessarily taken with the uh, person's consent. Right. They weren't necessarily um, given with the person's consent. So, for instance, if a woman takes a picture of herself, these pictures of these uh, many of these starlets that were released uh, not too mm-hmm. long ago, they were on their own. Phones and stolen and, and hacked off. Yeah, hacked off of uh, basically the Apple Cloud or whatever. Right. So, an even more revolting trend is for so-called creep shots, in which men try to photograph the bodies or of women or girls, often underage, whom they have seen out in public. Once again, marks That's creepy marks are awarded for the most compromising shots. If challenged over why they're allowing pictures that have been taken up a teenager's skirt, websites like 4chan say it was legal as it occurred in a public place. Most sickeningly, some 4chan users felt the site wasn't sufficiently pornographic enough and formed a breakaway message board, Anon IB, where hackers calling themselves iCloud rippers advertised their services to break into online account of any woman and download her private photos. Oh boy. 855-450-3733. 855 for 50 free free talk live as a pioneer of the e-commerce movement overstock.com is proud to be the first major retailer to accept bitcoin overstock was the first because patrick byrne overstock ceo and founder firmly believes in personal freedom and cryptocurrency over the past 16 years overstock has furnished over 18 million homes with a diverse line of products to suit everyone's unique styles and preferences Support overstock and freedom of choice while enjoying free shipping on orders of 0.211 Bitcoin or more. Know what's always on my mind, kid? Safety. I live, eat, and breathe safety. When I wake up in the morning, I have a large cup of safety with two sugars and a dash of safety. Safety matters. Your safety, my safety, everybody's safety. That's why I love Granger. Granger has the products, services, and resources to help keep our facility safe and our people safer. Now pass me one of those safety donuts over there. Call clickgranger.com slash safety or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. A revolution in body protection has arrived only at FortressSurvivalLLC.com. Introducing the revolutionary patented Level 3 Bulletproof Vest. 100% Kevlar, 100% American made. Concealable, fully adjustable, and the lowest price on the market. Adult size normally $289.99, now just $250. Kid size normally $239.99, now just $200. Get affordable protection with a Level 3A Bulletproof Vest from FortressSurvivalLLC.com. For thou art my rock in my fortress. Psalm 31.3. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to produce an endless supply of nano-sized silver solutions right from the convenience of your home. Silver Lungs. With the addition of our unique lung delivery system, respiratory infections are targeted directly, where traditional oral administration simply cannot reach. This pioneering method also preserves the original particle sizes and delivers your silver solution directly into the bloodstream. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. Money, power, and respect are all yours at CreditSuccessSecretsRevealed.com. Be seen as an industry leader. You can do it. The last application you filled out when it was time to hit submit, did your nerves spike? You didn't get the approval you seek, but there's a better way. We teach you exactly what to place into the right systems the right way the first time so you get approved. Get up to $100,000 in instant business credit. Many people will get cash on the spot. Use those two tools in your new corporate credit engine so you can walk into the bank and get your project funded today. It's all about today at CreditSuccessSecretsRevealed.com. Credit Success Secrets Revealed is explosive and ignites instant results. Dial 1-800-707-8719. That's 1-800-707-8719. 1-800-707-8719. Or just go to CreditSuccessSecretsRevealed.com. LRN.FM is proud to announce our official listening apps for Android and iOS devices. Now you can easily tune into our streams anywhere, anytime on your smartphone or tablet. Just visit apps.LRN.FM or search for LRN.FM in the Android or Apple app stores. Please download, rate it five stars, then share the link on social media, and let your friends and family know how you're listening to LRN.FM. Download it now, free at apps.LRN.FM. That's apps.LRN.FM. 
I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. The final segment of Free Talk Live. Still have time to get your call in. The number is 855-450-FREE. It's Mark with you. Daryl. And Johnson. Been talking about this terrible incident with uh, the 4chan shooter out in Oregon. And uh, just talking about the 4chan website generally. And you can always be horrified by this uh, this website. They they never, see, they never cease to amaze when it comes to it. But uh, your calls come first on Free Talk Live. I want to tell you about, real quick, how you can uh, help the show. Do your online shopping at Amazon through shop.freetalklive.com. If you're going to be buying with U.S. dollars, do it through shop.freetalklive.com. If you're not, go through purse.freetalklive.com if you're going to be using Bitcoin. So anyway, do your, all your shopping, shop.freetalklive.com. It helps us. It helps us to distribute the risk of doing the show because, well, you know, if everybody's doing their shopping over there, we don't need to worry about the advertisers so much. And Mark, just real quick, you had asked what sort of weapons, according to NBC News, they found three handguns and a, quote, long gun similar to an AR-style rifle on campus. Yep, it's the Bushmaster. Let's go to Justin Biebs. Justin, you're on Free Talk Live. Justin, you are on Free Talk Live. That's what you got. Wow. 4chan. This thanks guy so much. called like five times on Skype just so he could give us a raspberry. I knew that uh, that was gonna it was gonna go that way. That's why I Wow. Uh, it's it's during the 4chan segment, though. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so it's fine. <laughs> wow. He was pwned. He what? got trolled. We what? actually trolled him. He didn't even realize it because we were waiting to put him on during the 4chan segment. <laughs> thanks, what? buddy. So what else does this article say about 4chan? Uh, well, okay, it mentions real quick, we, we brought up that spinoff, the Anon IB, that uh, with the cloud rippers who advertise their services uh, to break into the account of any online woman and yeah. download her private photos. How do they well, do that, Johnson? Uh, how, do they, how do they break into somebody's account? Uh, there's all different ways. I mean, and it's through security exploits and, and, and so what, you know, what the brute hope force is- password attacks. Most of these celebrities are probably using dumb passwords because most people use dumb passwords. If yeah. your password is something like, Sex, God, password, let me in, the name of your dog, uh, your name, Incorrect. your birth date, your, or you're dumb. <laughs> Incorrect is a good password because then when you forget it, you type it in, and then the website tells you your password is incorrect. Oh, yeah, it's incorrect. There we go. Yeah, incorrect. never use that again. So uh, the so-called, the site's so-called. Hold on just a second, though, Johnson. I have some questions. Uh, as far as using a password and that sort of thing is, is that you get a, if you ping a, a website three times, then it's locked, then it can lock down an account and you can't. Depends on whether or not their password security was designed that way. Some websites are designed that way. Yeah, some Most websites are, are designed that way. Some aren't. Oh. And if you, for example, like if you. That's a terrible idea to design a website. Right. That if somebody misses their password five times in a row, that you let them keep trying. There's also things called phishing attacks where you send somebody an email mm-hmm. and then they click and you, they sign up for a website that's completely fake. Or they get a page that looks like it's your login for Facebook or PayPal or eBay because they replicate the entire design of that website. And then most people are too dumb to look down at the address bar at the bottom of the screen and realize, oh, I'm not actually on Facebook.com. I'm on, you know, uh, Facebook.com. Esites.webspace.org. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is not Facebook, and I just typed my password in. I'm. Let's go to Robert in Vermont. Dumb. Robert, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi guys, thanks for taking my call. You're welcome. What's on? Uh, yeah, I guess I just I'm just finding out about the shooting here about half an hour ago, and and I, I can't believe we're, we're at this situation again where. 
you know, some idiot has just, you know, done some senseless thing like this. You know, and you had asked earlier, you know, you know, what, you know, what we should do or, or how this should be handled. I think that what we should, people just could just have to start being on guard when you leave your, when you leave your house, when you leave your house. Just going to have to start being aware of your surroundings. Just going to have to just start, you know, paying attention a little bit more. Yeah. But I it, think that the last thing that we need to do is to start taking away everybody's guns. Well, you know that they t- they did this at a place where they took away people took away people's right. guns. It's oh, these shootings always happen at places that are generally gun free zones, right? I mean, yeah, everybody's gun was taken away. You know, my my feeling is this: is that there's just way too many gun laws that are out there. I think they just just want to just do away with all of the gun laws and just allow people to just have guns. You have to be able to defend yourself. If somebody would have had one here, potentially they could have defended themselves. It's difficult to know in these circumstances, you right. know, to be able to skin the smoke well, uh, smokestack in that amount of time. But if, if somebody in that school had a gun, it would have changed the whole situation, you know, uh, uh, dramatically. Potentially, you know? I mean, don't don't forget that uh, these school these walls are made of of, of um, you know just. Uh, pasteboard and the bullets are going to fly right through when you're shooting at somebody who's say call it 15 yards away those it's unlikely that your average college student's going to get a nice grouping and so these bullets are going to fly through they're going to go into other classrooms endangering other people i'm not saying it's uh, I, I wouldn't take anybody's gun away but i'm just saying that you you got to consider these things in these circumstances too well, it used to be back in the in the forties and fifties that you know you could bring a you know a child could bring the gun to school, you know to you know be a part of like a, like an event after school to go target practicing. I mean, obviously with adults. Yeah. You know, and it's like all of that stuff has just all disappeared. It's it, it, it's like they, you know, it's like every time something like this happens, you know. Uh, an official comes out, and then they want to tug at the hearts of everybody, and then they want to say, geez, you know, here we go again. It's the fault of the guns. It's, the fa- it's not the fault of the guns. It's the fault of the person that's making these poor choices. Thank you, Robert. Appreciate it. You know, I wonder, here's a, here's a, here's a solution. Why don't clothing manufacturers actually make bulletproof clothing that's hip? Right. You can basically the only kind of bulletproof pr- clothing you can get is a vest that you sort of put on and it's bulky underneath. But I mean, that clothing would be ungodly expensive, expensive. It would be expensive. It would be heavy. It would be heavy, but coats are heavy. Right. I mean, why don't we start half of Ameri- a, a good portion of America wears coats or jackets or something half of the year. At that point, at the very least, we've got people covered uh, with bulletproof stuff half of the year. I mean, there's a place to start. I wonder what the temperature was in Oregon yesterday. I don't know the answer to that. And obviously, (laughs) you know, the people in Florida with their bulletproof Speedos would be kind of left out, right? Right. I'll I'll get uh, bulletproof flip-flops. Yeah, that's what you need. Well, to finalize, finish up this story here, so uh, the site so-called Obtained Pictures, which sections list the email and iCloud addresses of dozens of women. Which site was this? Uh, this is the uh, Anon IB, the spinoff from 4chan. Okay. Um, when a hacker successfully breaks into their cloud, they notch up a win and post any embarrassing pictures they find. Experts believe that the latest celebrity stalking began in what is known as the dark web, or the deep web, or underweb, a noxious matrix of encrypted websites that allows users to surf beneath the everyday internet with cl- complete anonymity. I'm reading into this voice because this is starting to get a like techno yeah. panic craziness. Yeah, it's, um, got it's that. just it's yeah. ridiculous. It has existed for more than a decade and has been used by criminals to deal in drugs, sell weapons, and view horrific jor- child pornography. Much of the trade is done Apparently with bitcoins in- and controversial digital currency, which is increasingly used by cyber criminals to cloak their activities. Ah, uh, bitcoins are awful. <laughs> bitcoins, <laughs> child they're porn. evil. Oh, that's crazy. How often see, they I mean, can say bitcoin and child ridiculous. porn in the same uh, yeah. sentence? But I mean, what's obvious here is is that the I mean, 4chan had child porn on it, according to this article, right? Oh yeah, definitely. So why not the internet child porn? Because that's what they're. I mean, that's the truth. Of and it. a lot of the child porn on 4chan is posted by the children themselves. Oh dear uh, God! It's teenage girls that are just on there and they're posting pictures of themselves all the time. I mean, that's just the reality of 4chan. Okay.
So I mean, it's not just young boys; it's also turning, young girls trying to oppress young boys, t- turning our young uh, young people into felons. Four uh, chan, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, 4chan, if it wasn't 4chan, it would be some other um, site. When you're talking about young people, I mean, you know, think about how you were at 15. If you were 15 years old, would you show a a group of people who were about the same age as you um, that were the opposite sex some uh, pictures in order to entice them? I suspect you would. Um, I mean... People are taught that that's and, and I suspect rightly so, that this is going to change. I suspect that all this stuff about 4chan is going to change real fast when uh, facial identity recognition becomes uh, publicly available. So, um, like the people that post these their pictures- girls are going to go when somebody when they're not anonymous anymore because like if their face gets online, like they post it and their face is visible, and then suddenly somebody can identify them from that. They're not going to post those pictures anymore. That's going to stop real quick. Then they're just taking them from the neck down, right? Maybe, or they don't take them at all because they don't care anymore. There's nobody to impress. It's not, you know, like, oh, they're not really looking at me. My well, head chopped off. We'll get that, uh, we'll that posted up online here on the Facebook page at facebook.freetalklive.com. Is Mark with you? Daryl. And Johnson. Drive safe. Stay away from 4chan. Free Talk Live. Understanding your credit score is the first step towards managing and improving it. This is Charlie Sundstrom with your Van Dyke Mortgage Minute. The most influential component of your credit score is your payment history. Almost equally as important is the amount you owe on credit accounts. Also impacting your score, but to a lesser degree, are the length of time you've utilized your credit, the number of new accounts, credit inquiries, and your various types of credit accounts. To help achieve or maintain a healthy credit score, have a system set up to assure your bills are always paid on time. Don't max out your cards. It's better to have a high credit limit with a low balance. Never close old accounts. The age of these can actually help your credit score. But don't be afraid to use your credit. You need several accounts in order to have a credit score. Just keep the corresponding payments within your means. For your mortgage pre-approval and refi needs, start by visiting VanDykeMortgage.com. Corporate NMLS 3035. Van Dyke Mortgage is an equal housing lender. Charlie Sundstrom, NMLS 134251. This is your Roberts and Roberts Brokerage Daily Precious Metals Update. In early trading Thursday, gold is $2 higher at $1,118 per ounce. Silver is up $0.11 cents at $14.70 per ounce. Bitcoin is trading at $236. US dollars. This is a great time to buy on the dips. We have plenty of Australian silver spiders and kangaroos in stock. Give us a call, 800-874-9760, or visit us online at rrbi.co. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Flaming Freedom is next, after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network, lrn.fm. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, October 1st, 2015. Silver is trading at $14.49 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,114 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $238. Antiwar.com reports having promised a hugely important announcement during his address to the UN General Assembly, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas on Wednesday announced that the Palestinian Authority no longer considers itself bound by existing agreements with Israel because the Israeli government keeps violating those pacts. Abbas in particular noted the 1993 Oslo Accord, which was supposedly to end the Israeli occupation of Palestine by 1999, noting that Israel is dramatically escalating 
ongoing settlement activities and has not terminated the occupation as promised. Saying the status quo can no longer continue, Abbas declared that Israel should consider itself obliged to fulfill all the responsibilities of an occupying power in the Palestinian territories. This would include ensuring food and medical supplies are provided to those living under occupation and explicitly forbids settlement. The Israeli Prime Minister's office condemned the announcement as incitement and demanded that Abbas unconditionally accept new talks with Israel. The past round of peace talks ended in failure when Israel reneged on promised prisoner releases. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said the speech proved Abbas does not want a peace deal. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. UPI reports Oklahoma Governor Mary Fallon stepped in at the last minute to stop the execution of Richard Glossop on Wednesday afternoon, not over concerns about his guilt or innocence, but rather worries over the lethal injection procedure. Fallon was literally the last hope for Glossop after the U.S. Supreme Court denied a last-minute stay of execution earlier in the day. The high court voted 8-1 to one in allowing Glossop's execution, scheduled for Wednesday, to proceed. The dissenting justice was Stephen Breyer, who argued in June that it is likely that capital punishment violates the Constitution's ban on cruel and unusual punishment. Fallon's intervention was based on concerns about the state's three-drug lethal injection method, which includes potassium acetate, which is not among the list of approved drugs for use in execution. Oklahoma state law allows potassium chloride, which can stop the heart as an acceptable drug, but not potassium acetate. Fallon said in a statement Wednesday, last-minute questions were raised today about Oklahoma Oklahoma's execution protocol and the chemicals used for lethal injection. After consulting with the Attorney General and the Department of Corrections, I have issued a 37-day stay of execution while the state addresses those questions and ensures it is complying fully with the protocols approved by federal courts. The governor's executive order postpones Glossop's execution until at least November 6th. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports ending weeks of infighting the U.S. Congress on Wednesday.